All right. So somebody sent this to me a couple of days ago, and uh, it's more than I thought it was. <clears throat> it's called Pierogi Scammer Payback, exposed by former employee Savannah Marie. I was like, I was like, okay, this is probably just another, I don't know, crypto thing. But apparently, it's a lot worse than that. So we're gonna give it a listen. And let's see what we have here, guys. A lot of people are upset with her, but you know what? Maybe she's in the right. And the only person to truly figure out if she's in the right is me, because I'm the most smartest guy in the whole world, in the whole atmosphere. <laughs> I'm just kidding. I'm curious, though. Let's see what we got here. Oh, my God. November 12th. Winter is coming. 2023. 721 AM. Oh, God. I opened my inbox to find an email addressed to me by someone named Hina. It read... I started working for Pierogi around the time of this video. Cool. All video footage of the interactions between and scammer payback were actually me being used as a thirst trap in order to gain information from the scammer. And this is also how I started. Okay, so this person was a decoy for this guy. Started working for scammer payback as a live stream and video translator. Don't don't these guys do that kind of stuff? They use decoys. Okay. A short time. Were they an adult when they were a decoy? After working with him, it became clear that his intentions of our relationship were more than just professional. Okay. During which I was groomed by my boss and used as a simple object. How old was she? Wait, what? Oh, how old was this girl? He used to get drunk and message me all the time, asking me to get HKD high key drunk with him. Oh, Eventually, the did, did you? This led to him. Why don't you just tell him to stop or quit? Asking for videos and nudes and poses to reenact for his sexual fantasies. I am here. Okay. It seems like this guy's a little pushy, but okay. I would like to add that he is married with children and his public image relies highly on him being a man with Christian values. Okay. I'm attaching some of the screenshots to this. So, so far we got a guy that might have cheated on his wife. Email. <clears throat> I have many more that include. She's a grown adult. So then like, why didn't she just say stop? Well, maybe she would have got fired. Oh, okay. And make the video be like, hey, this guy was creepy and he kept hitting on me. And so I quit. And then expose him for that. Like, you know what I mean? Why is it grooming though? It's Maybe he has a time machine and went back in time. Images and propositions. These are the wow. screenshots showing how obsessively he behaves and the fact that he would not take my silence. Wow, yet again, yeet. Hello, Adhina, 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 Adhina. Hello, everyone, Adhina. <laughs> like, he does seem like a creep. Yeah, for sure. This is an answer. I'm from a third world country. I was getting oh. paid in dollars and not complying felt like it would jeopardize my job and source of income. Uh, okay. Thank you for your time. Hina. How'd you get groomed? No. I this mean, it sounds like he was really pushy and obnoxious, but how is it grooming? This is not the first time that I had ever heard Pierogi's name. I've actually been consuming scam baiting content for years now, and I would consider wow. myself a very big fan of the genre. But if you don't know who Pierogi is, allow me to introduce you. Pierogi the is the alias of this man who runs the YouTube channel called Scammer Payback. The scam okay. baiting genre has a- Is there like more context to the clips or is he just like a creepy guy? Which is something to call out, but the grooming stuff is insane. A lot of heavy hitters, but Scammer Payback having over 7 million subscribers- Because all we got right now is that he hired somebody as a decoy that was an adult, and then he was being really pushy, which is gross and cringy, of course. But I mean, once you go- Once you hit the G word, we've, we're having a new conversation now, you know what I mean? You can't hit me with that. ...on YouTube is arguably one of the most popular ones. But just to be clear, grooming is a very intentional, methodical process of intentionally, like, and manipulatively setting up typically a child up for typically sexual exploitation. Like, that's a lot. Like, grooming isn't just like, my boss was being pushy for these types of favors. That's wrong. Grooming is a huge, huge thing. It's not like just simple little, like, oops, I, I made a little fart. Boop, boop. Like, that's not what it is. A really big thing. It's like the buzzword of the day. Perhaps the most important thing I want you to take from watching this video is that okay. I do not want you, nor do I expect you, to immediately end your support of Scammer Payback because of this uh, video. While care. Scammer Payback did originally start with Pierogi, it has since evolved to be an entity that employs many people. There are employees of this company who rely on Scammer Payback for their livelihood. And okay. I would be remiss to say that, oh, they don't even do that great of work because Scammer Payback does amazing work. They have helped victims of these scams by recouping okay. their losses or even stopping the scam before it even gets to the point where the scammer can access the victim's bank account in the first cool. place. Scammer Payback has helped a lot of people. It has helped bring widespread awareness to the topic and the channel has made a positive impact on the entire world. This video is not some kind of hit piece against scammer payback and okay. i don't want to see the channel lose its audience because of the actions of pierogi 
They okay. do really important and impactful work, and I would never dream of taking. They cheated on his wife. Well, I, it sounds like it wasn't just cheating. He was like really pushy with her, which is wrong. Um, let's be clear. But I mean, the I mean, we got to show a lot of information to support the G word. Taking that away from them. This video is about pierogi as a person, not scammer payback. Okay. So please don't send any hate, bullying, harassment, anything like that bullying. to anyone involved in the situation. Bullying. While we're out here giving disclaimers, this video is not meant to defame or slander pierogi. Defamation and slander would require that I am knowingly spreading false information about him. And Are you just unknowingly doing it? <laughs> And I would not be making this video if I were not 100% okay. convinced that right. the evidence that- Bro super chatted two dollars. All he did was cheat on his wife. Hey, bad guy, am I right? Am I right, guys? He should have just said what I did and just be in a non-monogamous relationship for 10 years. <laughs> I will be sharing with you today. The rest of right. whatever I say here is strictly my own opinion and my own Ooh. personal interpretation of This guy reminds me of Jacob Doolittler. The situation. And I also recognize that other people might interpret things differently than me. Personally, though, I do believe everything that- There's a lot of qualifiers in this video. You're like, I personally believe that this happened, but you guys might disagree. It's like, if you- I don't know. I would be- If I thought somebody was a groomer, I would be- on it boy i'd be like there's you know what i mean like i would i'd be pretty confident about it i'd have to be to leverage such an accusation so like what is going on here <laughs> it's like you're so unsure of it it's like i don't know guy might be a bad guy i think but you guys if you don't that's okay too that hina has told me hina even allowed me access hina. into her private discord account oh my god her private discord account unlike her public discord account which is always available to everybody guys that's fucking crazy Hina, somewhere else. Okay. He he. Oh, let's see what we got here. I want to read through this a little bit. I'm going to goon through this a little bit. Okay, just give me like two seconds. Did I pause? I did pause. She's got to make sure I did. Baby girl, you know what I want. Okay, so they got a, a cat face and then another face. And then he goes, he he, with a sad kind of a frowny face. Somewhere else, maybe you really need younger mods, P, and more active ones. Why? T because older ones don't know how to use the entire uh, mod features. They should help the by add on predictions, blah, 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 blah. Have fun. I'm going to go watch some OV. Good luck and chug things. Can't buy anytime. I'm not going to sleep right now. Feel free to message me. It sounds like they had like a little bit of a flirty relationship. To verify. Thank you. I tried. It's very nerve wracking. It is. You follow instructions as well. Engagement was pretty good too. Viewer stayed stable. I didn't retain. I did. It didn't tank. Oh, okay, they're talking about video. Between her and Peru. Uh, are you sure? Off oh, ruffle. Feel like it's shitty. For whatever. Myself. Blah 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 blah. Yes, three, not two. It's always three. What? I did in fact have an extensive history with pierogi. Why you? Well, show me the messages. Between her and pierogi. For myself, she did in fact have an extensive. Why are you censoring these? Extensive history. Why are these censored? I don't like that. Deleted user getting, uh, to be honest. Wait, wait, what? Deleted user? Oh, she must have taken some of them before she blocked him, but that's weird. No? I don't know. Something's off about that. I'm um, getting stopped lots of places now. Coffee is more like a reaction channel. Tell me you belong to Miss P and Handy. LOL, old man, gay. Most of this is just like conversation, dude. I've been smoking weed for two months. These guys have like a friendly conversation. History with Why do you start spamming her? Pierogi in the form of thousands of Discord DMs with him. Yeah, I mean, most of them seem like they're just chatting about work and other stuff. I've had bigger. I think I'll be okay. What? Oh, my God. I saw an empty magnum. They're talking about sex consensually. What's happening here? This is what happens when you use pepper jelly. You've got your expired cream cheese explosion. Not yet. Ha ha. Uh, LMAO. I'd like to chug it, please. Will overnight delivery work? Yeah. What the fuck are they talking about? Let me do purple. Nah, what? Um, just remember, the carpet doesn't match the drapes much. Why not? She sent him a picture of something. It sounds like she sent him a, a... Is this is this not a pornographic conversation that they're having? Like, they're having a sexual conversation together, consensually, you know? A lot of this is censored. It looks like she sent they sent pictures back and forth between each other. From what I'm pausing on... Um... What? Bitch, I'm tall and fat and count as two. That's what she says. I don't like billion friends. Uh, blah, 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 blah. I don't... This seems like they're having a... This seems like they're having a flirtatious sexual conversation. Like, this is what's happening here. On the screen, though. And then she sends him a nude picture. That's exactly what that looks like to me. <laughs> this whole thing is so stupid. The pushy stuff is weird. Um, Just remember the carpet doesn't match the drapes and then she sends him a picture? That's gotta be a nude. 
right? Like, I just remember the carpet matches the drapes, or they, they don't match the drapes. And then he says, why not? And then she sent a picture. I have a nose here. I'm going to pull it out, okay? Oh! Fuck. Okay. Well, this, seems mutu- this seems like mutual. <laughs> what is this? Uh, well, I've had bigger, so I think I'll be okay. It's like, uh, okay, whatever. That. This whole thing is stupid. Very- what is this? <laughs> um, okay. A long time to get to the top while I was scrolling through them. Okay, it sounds like they had a mutual conversation. Um, okay, I don't care. This seems like they were mutually flirting. I don't know why he was b- blowing her up with dumb shit at a certain point. Um... But I, it sounds like they were mutual, so I don't care. I was also able to confirm that this Discord account that she claimed to be Pierogi was actually attached I to his YouTube and I Twitch channels. Care. That all being said, this is all still anecdotal. And while there are many screenshots and screen recordings to back up his claims, those screenshots did come from Discord channels that were constantly being recreated and then deleted over and over again. Okay. The only evidence of the existence of this specific Discord channel slash channels that will be profiling here are in the form of Hina's screen recordings and screenshots. The okay. screenshots that Hina sent at first were intriguing, but there's n- there's no way that she. I wasn't. There's no way she didn't delete messages. Morning at dictionary made this morning. How it goes, awesome. Same dude. She deleted messages. Oh, that's why she deleted messages. Right? Am I stupid as fuck? Am I interpreting this wrong? And screenshots. The screenshots. Going to sleep when I wake up. I shall be boss and at p. Lol. Morning at Dictionary, made it this morning. How goes it? And then he says, awesome, same. So she must have responded. She's deleting stuff. Why, why do I care about any of this if she's going to delete her messages back to him? That Hina sent at first were intriguing, but I wasn't sure. Ex- These are cool. Yeah, I agree. Unless he's so unhinged, she's having a private conversation. But I doubt that. Unless he's having a, a conversation with himself. I doubt that. Exactly right? what I was looking at or what any of the screenshots meant. So obviously I responded to Hina's email. And shortly after, we were connected on Discord. She deleted all her messages. None of this matters. If she doesn't show her side, I don't give a fuck. Cord. I want to know why you reached out to me specifically. Clearly because you're stupid and you'll fucking take the bait and you have no level of responsibility. This is literally like Mama Max level evidence. Like, you have none. <laughs> There's nothing here except a witness testimony that deleted her own e- messages to him. <laughs> oh my god this is worse than i got manipulated by an 18 year old vampire at 16 like that's the worse than that to help you because i know that you have some contacts and stuff okay what made- i prefer glasses did you reach out to me <laughs> i liked how objective you were right you weren't really siding with one person you weren't giving both sides and that's something okay. that that's I- just that, okay that's not called objectivity all right just uh, siding you can you can side with a person if they're right that's you know what i mean not siding with somebody it doesn't necessarily mean you're objective really want it in the way i released it secondly if someone <sighs> knows me uh obviously people can go like oh they know her they're just siding with her i spent the past few months really cool. just debating i really appreciated that you added that in because it gave me zero context of anything eating on whether or- you're just a good guy you're just a good guy no i even w- you're just a handsome fella wanted to take something on of this magnitude <sighs> but ultimately we ended up here because i feel like in my opinion i Hina like- deserves justice pierogi deserves to be held accountable and um, i think that there's a lot uh, okay that humanity as a whole can learn from this situation and hopefully (laughs) it will improve workplace relationships somewhere somehow moving forward there are two sides to every story yeah listen i don't think it's necessary it's don't think it's appropriate to really be sexting with people that like you that work for you for sure but that doesn't mean that it's not a mutual thing when it comes to a job for the most part a, a, a business will just like make it so that you have to tell hr that you're dating an employee or at least some of them, just because, just to make sure that like everything is out and open and like, they, you know what I mean? Like they can handle everything because it's transparent. That's it. They had a friendly for t- flirtatious relationship from what we just saw. Like, and she's a grown woman. Like, oh, I could have lost my job. Maybe. And that would suck. Then expose him for like flirting with you and then making you lose your job when you would say no. But it sounds like you were into the advances. It looked like you sent him a Matthew picture T. of your super chatted one dollar ninety nine cents. Papa got this is what I'm saying, dude. I've, I've spent, that's all I've been doing is spokening. And what we're about to hear is Hina's side. I pride myself on being right. able to hear out both parties, to I hear every side. This is, what are you, like, boogie? Just fucking <laughs> fence-sitting? What is happening? Of every story. But Pierogi did not give me that opportunity, yeah, despite I either. You're me a exhausting psychopath. literally every avenue I had to contact him. I sent a DM to his Instagram, which... 
Hey, Pierogi, I'm talking to somebody <laughs> you grooming them at 28,000 years old or whatever. Hey, Pierogi, he reached out to me uh, to help exposing you for help exposing you, and I will make a video about it. I know about the HDK Discord or HKD Discord channels, and she uh, has screenshots and screen recordings of a few of them before you deleted them. I've been sent the entire Google Drive, and I've been able to verify the validity of these screenshots recordings by logging into Hina's Discord account and seeing your DMs for myself. That all being said, you and I know how you abuse the power dynamic between the two of you. <laughs> Based on everything I've seen, you were some I'm someone paying your salary, and she felt obligated to comply with your advances because she wanted to please her boss. Let's be very clear, because I don't know why, but you have to have this conversation. The existence of a power dynamic does not create abuse of the power dynamic. There are power dynamics that exist every single day between men and women. I could beat my wife relentlessly right now. I never would. So there's a power dynamic there, but I'm not abusing that power dynamic. There's a power dynamic between children and the adults, or excuse me, parents and children, right? That parent is physically stronger, has more financial power, et cetera, et cetera. That doesn't mean that all parents are abusing their kids. You want to be super woke. You could say there's a power dynamic between like a white and a black person dating, systemic racism, blah, 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 blah. Okay. The existence doesn't matter. Do I think that a, a very precarious scenario can happen when you are engaging in a sexual manner with an employee as an employer? Absolutely. Um, does that always happen? No. So what would have to happen here for this to be an abuse of that dynamic, right? Is she would have like he would have to make a threat that's like I will do this to you if you don't sex me, or I will I won't do this for you if you you know what I mean. That's it. There needs to be something of actually proving that. Now she might have felt pressured, but it sounds like they had a flirtatious relationship and they were going back and forth. And like uh, we also need to add the factor in is that like women especially like guys that are popular and famous and have money. Okay, that doesn't mean that she like uh, it's just a fact. When I was really big on TikTok, women would always hit me up, right? Now they don't because I'm a loser. No, but now like that's a real thing, right? I'm not saying that she did, but like it doesn't surprise me that two adults that are messaging each other on, on Discord and having flirtatious relationships would be interested in each other. <laughs> I'm like, okay, you have to show abuse. That's a big thing to show. Okay, that's it went straight to his message requests, never to be seen again. And since Instagram and Facebook are both owned by Meta, I couldn't send like another message on Facebook because it just went to the same place as the first message I sent on okay. Instagram. I went to X where I found that his DMs were turned off. I couldn't wow. DM him on Discord because he has it set to only accept messages from people who had servers in common with him. My okay. only other option was email. He has two email addresses listed on his YouTube account, one for business. Oh God, you seem so obsessed. Are you grooming him? Queries and one for their tip line. I sent an email to both of them. I then had Hina send Pierogi a Discord message since she had already been in contact with him through DMs, and he responded promptly. This is how that conversation went. P, I need to have a serious conversation with you. Memory Please. from 1997 <laughs> super shatted $1.99. Isn't a Pierogi when a wee wee is crooked? I don't think that's what that is. Let me know whenever you have time. So okay. Up. How goes it? So it sounds like this is very friendly from his perspective. Yay. Would you be able to do a quick voice chat or would you rather I type it out? Yeah, type it out because I'm pretty slammed. Sorry. Okay. Well, I wanted to be the one to let you know since I still consider you my friend. Regard no, you don't. Regardless of everything, Savannah Marie will be contacting you shortly via email. Please do read it. It's very important for me. Please. What is that? Well, she sent the email. Read it and you'll know. Just know that I do and will always consider you my friend. You're calling him a groomer with no evidence. What do you mean? I wanted you to hear this from me first, since I respect you and I really want you to be able to give your- Why would you respect this person that you're claiming groomed you? What? I really respect you even though you groomed me. What are you talking about? That's insane. <laughs> this is literal. This is insane. It sounds like they don't even work together anymore. What it sounds like is they don't work together now, so she decided that she wants to like go after this guy because she feels like there's no value to, to, to extract from him anymore. Oh my god. Comment. I'm exposing you for workplace sexual harassment. <laughs> okay. After that last message, silence. Neither myself or- Of course, I would say silent too. That's an insane accusation. I have heard anything- I respect you even though you were grooming and sexually harassing me. Oh, whoa. Now that's an epic pugger moment to me, baby. From Pierogi since then. But needless to say, he knows this is happening. He has knowledge yes. of this video. Wow, really? Is it because you explicitly just showed us that you told him? Wow, who would have thought? Thanks for that info. Being created. And he had every opportunity oh, to provide okay. a statement to me or even defend himself. Not even to me. He could have just talked to Hina if he wanted to. Yeah, he it's been just done that. over a week. Yeah, and I've been week. expecting 
a cease and desist letter or some sort of legal correspondence. But I have heard absolutely nothing. Some might say that this oh is just God. him. He's ignoring women too. This guy's a fucking what a loser. He's even ignoring women. Like this guy's such a bad guy for ignoring these women. Playing it smart, but in my opinion, his silence is a statement in and of itself. Yeah, it's that you're not worth talking to. I've, we've already we're only eight minutes into this video, and I can see why you're not worth talking to. The email I sent to him was basically just like, "Hey, Hina is going to be exposing you for sexual harassment in the workplace. Here's your Hina is going to be." exposing you guys for having mutual sexual conversations more than likely there's no why or else why would she delete her own messages sorry that's what's going to happen here her opportunity to speak to me on the situation to provide a statement that's it's channels like these that provide like an incentive pathway to lie about stuff and have like, dishonest conversations about uh sex when it comes to like working engagements that's what's really happening so etc please respond basically literally i just wanted to give him the chance to give me a statement that was the you, you wanted more content. What did I just do? Oh, extent of my <laughs> intentions in reaching out to him in the first place. So he absolutely has place. knowledge of my attempts to contact him and I have not heard from him. Oh, and I think God, part of that guy. is probably because I didn't even initially tell him exactly what Hina had sent me, what evidence I had, oh etc. So rambling. he didn't want to further implicate himself by essentially admitting to something I had no proof of. Yeah, or maybe it's just dumb. After all, I'm a very small channel, all things considered. He might just be banking on the story not gaining any traction. And we all should know by now that the number- Your silence. Your silence is a statement. I've noted your silence in this endeavor. Pierogi. The Leviathans are coming for you, Pierogi. I've, I've, <laughs> I've noted your silence, Pierogi. I've noted your silence when it comes to- Scammer payback exposed by former employee. The Leviathans will be coming for you. Number one rule to dealing with drama, if you want to call it that, on the internet is just to not respond. Because by responding, you're essentially creating the dry sand effect, bringing more. Well, no, that's not. You're such a dumb person. Okay, dry sand effect is when you do everything in your power to stop something from coming out. He's just not responding. That's not the dry sand effect. He's not. He's not, he's not talking about it because why would he? He's just going to give like credibility to responding to such a dumb fucking thing. Do you know what, I guess just, <laughs> we don't know what grooming is. We don't know what the Shry sand effect is. What else are we not going to know? Probably don't even know what Schmingle Bang is. Attention to the situation. If you ignore the drama nine times out of ten, it just kind of fades into obscurity. And I think he's taking his chances on that one. If no one really hears about this... Does he even need to address it? Oh my god, it's like a tree in the woods. The allegations go farther than just sexual harassment oh, in the workplace. God. An accusation, for instance, would be that this should be, and probably is considered by many, to be cheating on his wife. Yeah, probably. That's not good. Don't do that thing. Look, I, but I, I don't care. That's, that's between him and his wife. And this is all assuming that Pierogi and his wife are not in an open relationship. Oh my God. I considered this. It was actually one of the first questions I asked Hina, and oh she pretty much God. shut it down right away. According to her, Pierogi is openly religious, and his wife is even more dedicated to Christianity than he is. Whoa. It would be shocking and unusual to hear that Pierogi and his wife had agreed upon having an open relationship, and that his wife was aware of his relationship with Hina. Whoa. Not that it's any of our business, but he could have at least easily- None of this is our business, but thank you. We shut down any accusations of cheating by saying like my wife knows about henna we're in an open relationship bye is there any substance to this or is this you just like going on and on and on and yapping this is so dumb peace out but he didn't do that he didn't give me that and that is one thing that i was hoping to get clarification on so that that cool. didn't end up being part of the conversation even if he said that and it wasn't true he could have just shut down that specific <sighs> accusation right away and then addressed it and handled it privately wow. with his family without any of us knowing because it really ultimately yeah, is yeah, none of our yeah, business yeah, so i'm saying yeah, all this because yeah, i acknowledge yeah, that this yeah, dynamic may be at play here and we have no way of knowing oh even God. though i personally believe that it is a small likelihood that that would be the case anyway i know this has kind of been so now i understand why people think she's objective because she doesn't shut the fuck up about every single scenario and she gives every single scenario too much like treats them e treats them equally well guys i'm gonna go with this false grooming accusation, which is very clear to me because she's an adult <laughs> and she deleted her messages um which i 100 percent believe but by the way maybe this wasn't really cheating because it could have been an open relationship and like despite the fact that all the evidence points to that not being true like him being secretive about the relationship her being secretive about the relationship and the fact that they're very Mary religious i'm gonna take it i'm gonna i'm gonna push it as if it might be a, a factor dollar and 99 cents
The Leviathans are gooning. That's what I'm talking about. But that's what I'm talking about. It's just like uh, every, every, she's giving too much. Like, why would you even entertain this open relationship idea more than like, hey, maybe it is, but probably not. That's not being objective. That's you being stupid. You're taking a, a, a possibility that's less than 1% and like uh, pushing it out there as if it's a 50% chance of it being a thing. What are you talking about? I'm going to die. <laughs> long introduction here, but I figured the best right. way to present this story is to let Hina just tell it for herself yeah, using let my platform. Wow, so the following you're, such a, is, you're such a hero. You're such a hero. Hina's side of the story. Oh, I Hina. will provide evidence on screen where necessary, but ultimately, please don't take anything from this video as anything more than anecdote. While I you just, okay. I honestly don't believe that there are other people right now in similar situations with pierogi specifically. You know, I definitely think that Henna is the only one. I still feel like this video is important to publish because of the admittedly unlikely possibility that there could be others who are too scared to speak out and lose their jobs with scammer payback. Even if it's just a 1% chance that there's another person out there, it's worth <sighs> it to me. And we would be silly not to consider the possibility that if none of this got brought to light now, you know, what is the possibility that Pierogi could go hire a new translator? Yeah, and rate more people, got it. A female translator, and then end up yeah, 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 he's a rapist. Can, a we, similar can, you get, can you get to the, can you get to the information? Can you get the information? It's been fucking 13 minutes. You've said nothing. I hope that this video prevents that from happening. If it oh hasn't already, my God. I don't think it has, but on the slim chance that there are others, I hope that this also gives them the bravery to speak out. Yeah. Also one last thing. Sorry so that brave. the recording of the interview is a little bit choppy. I think my graphics card needs replacing. It's been giving me issues lately. So the video yeah. is not well, maybe a couple more false rape accusations and grooming accusation. Maybe you could afford a graphics card. Not perfect, but it's so, I already know it's false. I can already tell by all the context. She's an adult and she deleted her messages. Like, there's nothing here. Anybody with like half a brain could have already told us. Ultimately, the audio is what matters the most. So anyway, here's Henna. Hi, my name is Henna. I go Hi, online with the dictionary. The dictionary thing. You told me the story before, but do you want to explain? Hey, what's the story? Hey, 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 translator. What's the story that you call yourself the dictionary? Oh, I could who could have guessed? Please, please tell us, explain the context to us of why the translator that speaks multiple languages would ever call herself dictionary who would have thought fuck explain how you got that name yeah can well, you explain that i'm really um, curious there was like uh, a yeah. live stream going on and i was translating in the background and the scammer suddenly went like hey do you have a dictionary <laughs> next to you or something like how are you constantly <laughs> oh, so able funny. to tell <laughs> what i'm saying to you so that's I just took that's such that. a funny like story, so dude. I'm so happy you told that. You're like a you, dictionary. Like, how did having this job with pierogi? Yeah, I'm so curious. Situation over there. My life was pretty difficult before, but I'm not going to oh, say yeah. it was to the point it is now. Well, I mean, you decided to be a translator, which is getting replaced by fucking devices. Let's be real. Financially, it was like I had to work really hard. I had to work yeah. really long hours to earn the money as okay. opposed Coffee to when I started super chatted five dollars. Okay. Papa. You made an incest tearless Leviathans are cooming. Shut up! Working with Scammer Payback. After I started working okay. with Scammer Payback in the beginning, the money was pretty good. It was, uh... Okay, so you worked a lot, but the money was really good, okay? I think I started with $750. And that was a decent amount of money for me. That meant I didn't have to, like, budget control everything. You had some disposable income. Actually, Great, so you made good money working for him, okay. So you know what? In the end, it wasn't disposable income because it ended up being spent on booze. In the beginning, it was a really nice thing to have. You say it wasn't disposable income because he spent on booze? That's what you know, disposable income is. Didn't have to, like, budget control everything. You had some disposable income. Actually, you know what? In the end, it wasn't disposable income because it ended up being spent on booze. In the end, it wasn't disposable income because it was spent on booze. I don't know if you guys know this. Booze is not a necessity. unless. <laughs> so it is always a, dis that's a disposable income. Okay, so she got paid well by this guy. That's what she's saying, but she's downplaying it because she needs a narrative. The beginning, it was a really nice thing to have, you know, a bit of wiggle room. Something I want you to keep in mind while listening to Hina talk about this is that she is from a very poor part of the world. Cool. While the money that she made working for Scammer Payback would be considered insignificant here in America. $750 American? Didn't she say $750 American dollars? Sorry, we're... I'm going to say it was to the point it is now. Financially, it was like I had to work really hard. I had to work really long hours to earn the money as opposed to when I started working with Scammer Payback. After I started working with Scammer Payback in the beginning, the money was pretty good. It was, uh, I think I started with $750. Uh, that's a, that's American currency. She's getting paid $750. That's an American currency. What's that translated into her own currency? It sounds like she's getting paid a lot listening to Hina talk about this is that she is from a very poor part of the world. While Maybe the money I'm that wrong. she made working for Scammer uh, Payback would be considered insignificant here in America, this salary was 
far more than the average income of most working people. Cool, so she was getting paid well. People in the country she lives in. It's oh, life-changing cool. money here. That's money that doctors earn here. Once so she was getting paid as well as the doctor. They're in their mid-30s. So they probably were paying her in $750, whatever, a week or a month or whatever, like American dollars. According to worldsalaries.com, the average monthly <sighs> income of an individual oh, yeah. person working in her country in 2024. Oh, she was getting paid $750 American and to translate into rubies. Um, USD to or U P E S. Um, did I spell that right? So she's getting paid. Okay, seven hundred and fifty dollars. She's getting paid sixty-two thousand two hundred and sixteen Indian dollars. So right. Four is eighty-one thousand nine hundred and twenty-five rupees. Which can so is that seven fifty a year? Is that what she's claiming? It's still a tremendous amount of money in her currency. I guess. Okay. Converts to $293.45 USD. Hina started working for Pierogi at a monthly salary of $725, and eventually that got raised to a thousand. Hina was Oh, she was making a thousand dollars a month? That's not bad in her country. Am I wrong about this? Like this is am I translating this correctly? So she was paid, paid at her height a thousand dollars a month, which is eighty two thousand nine hundred and fifty five rupees. Wait, she was getting am I am I is this the wrong conversion? This based on this, she's getting paid the average annual salary every month. <laughs> am I wrong about this? Am I is this the wrong rupee? Is she using Zelda currency? It sounds like she's getting paid a yearly salary every month. Maybe I'm wrong, but a thousand USD to Indian rupee is eighty three thousand. I'm sorry. Oh, 83. Oh, wait, I'm wrong. I'm wrong. I'm wrong. I'm fat. I'm fat and ugly and stupid. My bad. 83,000 a month. Okay, so she's getting paid the average salary. Sorry. Sorry. I'm, I can't read numbers. Sorry, guys. Shut up. Shut up. Anyway. Uh, yeah, she's getting a lot of, a good amount of money. I guess she's making the average salary of an Indian person. Okay. Wait, a person working in blank. Wait, why did they? Wait, what? Wait, why did they censor the job? Oh, because, dude, this is so weird. This is so weird. They're censoring the job. Do you see how they're censoring it? Average, how much does the average person make in such and such? Either they're censoring the job or they're censoring the um, the, the country. And a person working in blank will typically earn about blank rupees per year. This is be, Why would they censor this? This is so weird. $93.45 USD. I don't care. Hina started working for Pierogi at a monthly salary of $725 and eventually yeah, yeah, that yeah, got yeah, raised yeah, yeah, to yeah, 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 We got it, we got Hina it, we got it. Hina was making it. more than triple the amount of money that everyone else around her was making. Good for her. The average monthly income of a... I'd want to sex them too. I'd be happy as hell. ...working class person in America is about $6,200, which sounds insanely <laughs> high to me, right? Am I just poor? But anyway, imagine tripling that to $18,600 okay. a month. How how would that impact your quality of life? Based. How would that change your life? How would your life improve with that kind of income? And more specifically, what kind of things would you put up with in the workplace to continue making that amount of money? I'd, su this I'd suck a dick for 18K a month. I don't give a fuck. This is what Hina was faced with. While no, it's not. That's not necessarily true. You have to show us where, where you have to show us that. Because like you guys, I, this it's so funny. It's so funny because we live in this world where we have these double standards when it comes to sex, where if a guy has a lot of sex with a girl, he's cool. But if a girl has a lot of sex with guys in general, she's a slut. So what does that show us? It shows us that we have a very incorrect perspective of sex. So what do we do to, to have the solution? Oh, well, you know, women like sex too. Women enjoy sex too. So it's okay if a woman is just as much of a slut as a man. I personally think we need to bring the men down. You're a slut if you're having too many bodies in general. But the point is, is that when it comes to... Uh, being promiscuous in sex, men are praised, women are put, looked down upon. All of a sudden, we're having another sexual conversation. We're instantly assuming because she was doing it with him that she didn't want to do it. Aren't you just pushing the same narrative that women don't like sex again? You're being sexist, right? So like maybe he did force her or something. You have to show us that. The existence of the relationship just like just it existing doesn't show us anything. I don't know if it was consensual. Is it inappropriate? Probably a little bit because they were working together. So it could have a problem. There could be a power dynamic, but that doesn't mean that there instantly is. Working for Scammer Payback. How did you end up meeting Pierogi? So I was randomly browsing YouTube one day and I was really bored. I found this video and it was like about a scam baiter with, and it was something, it was the uh, raging series that he had where the Indians- She seems to have a history of like constantly finding people and like DMing them and uh, uh, trying to get them to do things for her. With rage. If I remember correctly, I- 
subscribe to his Patreon and joined his Discord server. And this was Whoa. back before he reached a million subs, so it was still like a very it was busy, but it was a more calm down um server. Whoa. That's how I got to kind of have casual conversations and then eventually he needed help with a video. So okay, I So you reached out to him and then you were able to position yourself in a way that could get you a job. I volunteered to help him get information on the scammer. Essentially I uh purse trapped a scammer boss for a video. Basically he posted cool. on his Discord that he needed a Facebook account. And how old were you? To add the scammer so that um okay. Uh, they could get so he he hired a trans a woman translator to help him catch a scammer. Cool. Access to the posts he was putting and stuff like that. So I added him, and I told him that I know how to thirst trap and stuff. So I ended okay, up. So you offered your thirst trapping experience. Getting a lot of information from the scammer, a lot more than anyone thought I'd be able to get. Yeah. Whoa. Can you talk? About, can you talk about how you were about that experience a little bit? Because I know that there's videos about this specific scammer that Pierogi made using the information you were able to get. It took around three months overall. Not really the work put in, but just the time span was almost three months to get all the information. Mm -hmm. I would have like two, three hour WhatsApp calls with him. Wow. Video calls. I was like, oh, I want to see your house and stuff. So he went out, he showed me the apartment where he lived. He showed me the outside of everything. He introduced cool. me to his friends. And eventually by the end, I kind of convinced him that I was into scamming too. Wow, you were like, Jesus. Since she, you know, <laughs> some would say that she was uh, very good at being um, sexually manipulative of people. I'm not trying to be that guy. I'm just saying, somebody who's really good at thirsting, you had a three-month relationship with a scammer just so that you, like, that where he was telling his friends about you. Like, there's some, that's interesting. You know, if I, was a, if I was a professional mechanic, you'd probably assume that I could fix your car. If I was a professional stripper, you'd probably think I could shake my ass. If I was a professional thirst trap, I don't know. <laughs> you, I would assume that. Listen, it's to me. It seems likely that she's a very sexual person. If she's being, if she's like doing like thirst traps and she's like really good at it, she probably enjoys it. Which, by the way, there's nothing wrong with enjoying thirst trapping. Okay, I enjoy. I enjoy those. I started seeing those on TikTok. I'm just saying. Like, why would I? Why? Why is the person that's a professional thirst trap that's really really good at it? Why would I expect them to not? Do this be flirtatious? Like you were probably flirtatious with the fucking pierogi guy. Now I might be wrong, but you have to show us otherwise because everything's pointing to you being, you know, having your fun. I told him, oh, I'm going to give you a victim. And this is when Pierogi did his 1 million subscriber stream. Cool. Basically, he went online live. He took the call from the scammer. And oh, started translating fuck. rapidly whatever the scammer was saying because they were speaking in Hindi and all of that. And he Okay, cool. Really like that. So he didn't pay you to uh, thirst trap the scammer. That was a voluntary thing, right? Yeah, it was a really like that. I started translating rapidly whatever the scammer was Who's deleted user? Is that is that the thirst trap? Is that the guy she's talking about? Yusuf, the mefer is being stubborn. Oh no, the deleted user is is the guy is Pierogi. Gotcha. Was saying sure because they were speaking right. Hindi and all of that, and he really liked that. So he didn't pay you to uh, thirst trap the scammer. That was a voluntary thing, right? Okay. Yeah, it was a voluntary. So how did cool. that end up turning into a paycheck, a job? I did the live translation. Then I just started DMing Pierogi whatever I heard on the stream because I was tuning into the streams for a very long time and. After a couple of months, I just couldn't manage freelancing. I wasn't even freelancing. I was volunteering, translating at night and then going in the morning to work. It just wasn't feasible for me. So I told him that he should get either a new translator or, um, you know, I need some compensation. Okay. So he offered to give me a job. How long were you doing the Ooh. free translating before he ended up like offering to pay you? So just to be clear, she was doing free translating for him. And then she set a boundary. Hey. Uh, I need you to start paying me if you want me to be your translator. And he started paying her. Wow. A couple of months. Yeah. Okay. Wow. I mean, that's a lot of free work to put into someone. Yeah, that's like... Yeah, I know. He's obviously a terrible person for using the free work and then paying her the second she asked for money. <laughs> what a bad guy. I was so reluctant to leave because one of the things was I worked so freaking hard to get this job. Like, I put... Let's say I put six months of all into You were a fan of this guy and you wanted to help him out for fun. And then you ended up working with him. Cool. Hopefully that can happen with me in August, except without the sexting, because I'm actually married. <laughs> For the Clips channel, August, where are you? You're working, right? <laughs> I worked really hard. I proved myself to them, right? Every time I think about kids... Also, I like fat bitches, you know what I'm saying? I'd be like, I have to prove myself all over again to another person. I have to show them that I'm worthy. <sighs> and that is so much time and effort. Do I still have that? Or you're talking about any job. Yeah, hey, I worked for this job for a long time, and now they know how good of a worker I am. Like, okay, cool, me, cool. I don't know, because I'm still kind know. of collecting myself after yeah. everything that's happened. How often was he streaming? Like, how, how many 
times a week, let's say, were you translating for him? When I started off, he would stream almost daily, okay. maybe four streams a week. Or stuff like that. That's not almost daily. That's every other day. Uh, by the okay. end, okay. he barely streamed. You've sent me screenshots. Oh, God, and obviously, by the time streaming. this comes out, you'll, be, have, you'll have posted a lot of them. So in a lot of those screenshots you sent me, you could see the Discord oh, server Jesus that you guys were Christ. in called the SP I Intel know, Hub. Who used that server was it just you Who and pierogi just pierogi and i we were the only people in that server okay and what did you I guys made it. oh you made it okay what did you guys use it for i was consistently messaging the translations on his in his dms right so that's sure. why i made the server so that we could have like different uh we could have it more organized so if he needs to go back for let's say video editing or to choose what part of the live stream to put in the video he could just easily access you guys had a discord to communicate got it yeah and it was very organized from the screenshots i saw like you guys so had great. a lot of channels for so translations great. and so bitcoin wallets and like personal information on the scammer and then yeah, I did. yeah. I did all of that this is when it's gonna start getting a little spicy um God, thank finally we're only 20 minutes in would you like okay. to explain what is hkd and what was the HKD Discord channel slash channels? So basically, uh, HKD or Q Drunk uh, started off as just Pierogi and I being good friends. And okay, so you had a Discord channel that you got high key drunk. You guys would get drunk in. You were a fan of this guy. You became friends and then he hired you. Cool. And then you guys started drinking alcohol. And then before, you tried to make it seem like he would force you to drink alcohol. Right, you caught that before, right? She's like, "Well, it was uh, what was what did she say? Uh, extra expenses or whatever, or uh, uh, extra income." And she's like, "Well, not really, because I spent it on alcohol." It's like, "Well, that is additional income or whatever she referred to it as, a uh, disposable income was the word." But uh, but this is where the narrative's coming, guys. He forced me to drink, and you know, having small conversations. I told him that like it could. It was a fucking channel that you guys would get drunk in and hang out. It would be like a safe space where he can talk about what? whatever he wants to, and like we would forget. Okay, I'm not having the best day, yo. They are bugging me. Scammers don't piss me off. Yee, but whatever is causing and showing on your face as a friend, I'd say take a break. I feel backstabbed. It's very feeling very lonely. I know how it is, Pete. I'm here if you want to talk about it. You're not alone. You have friends. Even blah 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 while talking and bitching. It's all good. Whatever. Okay. They have this is where okay. The channel will be deleted. And so he can just have talk about whatever he wants, whatever's kind of to just relieve his stress, right? So we started with that and eventually that led to me and that lets you guys sexing. Cool. Let's see what this message says. I'm going to maximize it. Oh, man. At Hina, how do you plan on keeping me awake? Uh, haha. GG then. Haha. -ha. You GG and eat so much. Okay. Cool. I'm getting drunk and conversations kind of staring towards uh, flirting and still kind of stuff. Oh, no. Then not flirting. He. Uh... Oh, no. Not, f not flirting. Not two adults flirting. Oh, my God. Baby love, why are you saying my wife's in the chat? And she said, What's up, baby? Not flirting. How many shots of FB have you had? Fireball. What are you, a fucking high schooler? See you in 12 hours. Uh, see you in 12 hours, shots in hand. And for prov providing laughs and shots here and there, we'll do a shot. A shot? Did you say a shot? Yeah, I said a shot. Doing shots for you. Another shot. Let go. Okay, he was drunk. Cool. Uh, started asking for Fireball shot. Chugging for proof that I was Okay, let's watch beer. a movie together no, this week. Handling alcohol at all, right? Okay, let's watch a movie this week. Shots and all. We can watch it with a Discord server too if you want. I'll be an Indian movie, but it'll be in English. Point to understand. Dude, they're fucking it. They're having, they're dating on the internet. They're going to watch a Discord movie together and get drunk. Oh, shut up. So, especially not at Pro Gates level. <laughs> he would be like, chuck for eight seconds. I can't see your throat. Oh my God, you're doing party games. Like, go up a bit more. And shot, that shot. From, like, oh my God. He'd be like, chuck for eight seconds. Shot. I can't see your shot. throat. Shot. Already did a shot way ahead of you. So she already did the shot before he said shot. Like, okay, we're up, at four and a half shots. Up a bit more. And that, Take a shot, and, like, Sai. I'm assuming they had a party game when they would watch Bollywood movies or whatever the fuck they were doing. They said, never mind, I need a shot. This guy's unbearable. At the bottom, it says, never mind, I need a shot. This guy's unbearable. It's consensual. She's trying to push this idea that it wasn't consensual or that, or that he forced her. She needed, a, she needed a shot. From like the beer chugging, it went to lollipops. From lollipops, it went to Pink Buddy, which was okay, dude. Get the fuck out of here with this lollipop. You're deep throating a lollipop for him because you're horny for his fucking pierogi. That's it. You're deep throating a lollipop. You guys are flirting. This is so stupid. It's like I, I swear to God, it's like these people um, expect everybody to be engaging with this to be children that don't know anything. She's fucking deep throating a lollipop. This is what are you talking about? This is sexual. Uh lollipops from lollipops i went to pink buddy which was i don't know what that is you're okay pink this is what family does they chug beer in honor of <laughs> alcohol poisoning is a very real thing and no one should drink as much as we do cool did you get alcohol poisoning that's your fault it's never payback to you know 
Stafford Sears, man. Okay, cool. They drank a lot and together. And basically, he would just create the server, DM me. Hey, GG for me at Hina. Okay, these all these ads are because she un, she must have taken she she uh, she was responding, and then she unsent it. He's not unhinged at all. He cheated on his wife. That's it. Okay, his wife should kick his ass. That's who deals with it. The rest is annoying. Whenever he wanted to have like conversations, that's not a lollipop. What was it? It was still sexual. I don't know what it was. And stuff. He just keep adding me, and then and then you would respond, and then you. Un, you you unsent your responses uh, clearly. Once he was unheat deleted, but he kind of eased me into it. It didn't start with sexual stuff. It started with friendly conversations. And oh my god, it's almost like dating usually doesn't start with sexual stuff. But uh, but now it's grooming. Now because they he started to build a relationship with her, a friendship before sexing. It's grooming now, guys. That's what grooming is. It's when you date somebody. Grooming is when you go on dates with somebody. They're having internet dates and they were getting friendly to get to know each other. If this guy had just initiated instantly with a sexual conversation, you would have called him a sexual predator. But now since he got became friends with you first and got to know you and realized it was consensual back and forth because you guys were staying up until all hours of the fucking night, drinking a ridiculous amount of alcohol and watching fucking Bollywood movies, all of a sudden now he's a grooming rapist. What is happening here? This is insane. What is what is happening? What is it with the state of dating is it is utterly fucking abysmal at this point. This is insane. Having a safe space to You're a fucking slut. You cheated on this. You you cheated with this guy. You're just as responsible. He's more responsible. But you're acting like this all fucking what oh, this is dumb as fuck. Speaking. And you guys would play like video games and stuff. You guys would play like Super Mario Brothers, right? Oh my god, that's a child's game. He's a rumor. 1997 super chatted $1.99. Thank you. Love you daddy digestive track. I appreciate that. Stuff together too, right? We were really good friends. There were a lot. Wow, you were really good friends. It's almost like relationships start from friendships most of the time. I know we live in the brain rot internet world where people meet on Tinder, but like most relationships that actually last they they happen when you're friends first. You start like, oh, it's a it's a workplace friend. It's a friend from a hobby. Uh, it's a friend from from this place or that place. It's a family friend, or something. That and you get you build a friendship. That's how these works. Thank you so much for the twelve month large gut from Blossoms. L slut shaming. Hell yeah. This is so boring. He's a slut too. This is so boring. I'm going to fall asleep. Honk. I don't know what that is. Clearly, she was brutally and forcibly groomed. Why don't you believe her? You misogynist. Leviathans are coming for your papa. Gotta be prepared. True. Of messages between you guys. By the way, I love sluts. Okay. That's not slut shaming, but they're both fucking whores. They, okay. They, what do you want me to tell you? It's like, we're talking like 50,000 messages. Like, <laughs> I even yeah. told you I can see the friendship there. Like, the messages wow. that were sent between wow. DMs. Wow. You guys were you friends. And wow. We're friendly. It looked wow. like a cordial, like, consensual. Wow. So most of it was friendly, cordial, consensual. Well, friendship, I guess, if that makes sense. Yeah, it does, I actually. I did consider him my friend. When wow. Did. You literally said you respected this guy in the message when you were trying to call him a groomer when having stinky fart over here to talk to him did the sexual harassment really start like how long it never started because it doesn't exist it started i honestly don't remember but i would say somewhere exist. around eight months mm -hmm. if i remember correctly you didn't go through uh, all of the messages on the original account because there were so, so many the one many. that he deleted he never leaked a so why wouldn't you go through it and show her the sexual harassment hkt into the dms because he knew he had to be careful he knew it was a sensitive topic obviously. Well, because he's cheating on his wife so like yeah he's gonna obviously be more careful <laughs> There's nothing to do. See, what they're trying to do is they're trying to make it seem like he was being careful because he knew what he was doing was wrong. Specifically, it was wrong because he was grooming her. But the reality is, is he knew what he was doing was wrong because he was cheating on his wife. So that's why he was being more careful. He was putting it in another spot that his wife wouldn't be able to look at it if she went and found it or if she went looking through his computer. That's what's happening here. It's not the hottest of takes. This is not exactly the most fucking highly intelligent thing here this is a pretty no-brainer obviously that's why he created a channel and then deleted it but it did leak out sometimes because i would p-man oh nice okay. ignore him and then he would just at me consistently in dms thinking okay. that you know that would catch my attention but also cool. like he would at you in all the chan like all the different channels in the discord server like he would cool. blow up he was kind of annoying gotcha your notifications it got to the point where i was actually scared to be online like Okay. Uh, I used to be uh, someone who never used to set okay. herself to invisible on Discord. Okay. I have been invisible on all so That doesn't mean that you're scared. That means he might have been really annoying, so she would make herself invisible. Okay, cool. Social media platforms for almost two years now. Strictly because he was kind of watching everything you were doing.
he was kind of stocky, yeah. So if I he's using Discord, uh, Discord tells people what they're doing when you're on Discord. It's telling everybody that's in my Discord that I'm streaming right now. That's not stalking. That's the basic functionality of Discord. What are you talking about? If I was on Twitter and liking stuff. Oh, he up. would be like, "You're not replying to my messages on Discord, but you're active here." Or okay. if I was so, what's this with the real story? They were they were having a mutual sexing relationship, and then he got too pushy and became clingy and annoying. Guy, Got gotcha. you. That's cool. He's a loser. Got it. Uh, appearing offline or in a call with my friends, he joined my private server. I invited him. And he joined the server and I invited him. Okay. And he'd be like, you should have told me that you were in a conversation with your friend. Why did you invite him in the server? Friends, I'm waiting here, stuff like that. And then he'd eventually guilt trip me into leaving the conversation with my friends and paying attention to him. If I was okay. online on Steam, he'd be like, oh, you're playing Dead by Daylight. Can you stream it for me? He had a really strong hold on. Wow. It's, what? You like he this is the how the internet works. It's like he's using the functional. Listen, it sounds like he's pushy and annoying. That's it. Okay. Say no to him. Like, you have all this information anyway. If he tried to, like, this is the thing. It's like, we, we talk about this power dynamic. Like, oh, he's such a power dynamic. You have all these messages of him flirting with you. So just be like, hey, I'm not in the mood. I don't want to do this today. Set a firm boundary like you already did when you asked for money. And then if he's like, if he tries to let you go, claim it was because you had a sexual relationship that you, and you stopped the advances and you would have a really good case because you have all these screenshots. Don't come out after your relationship ended for whatever reason and then pretend it was like grooming. He became pushy, and he's like, it's annoying, it's obnoxious. Sure, absolutely. The grooming? Get the fuck out of here. He had his claws dug into you deep. For what? Because she would stream games? What are you talking about? Honestly, the last two years of my life have only been pierogi. I am still kind of in pierogi withdrawals. There are times when... Withdrawals? I need my friend, and he's my friend. He's the person... These last two years, I've only been pierogi. You guys were f good friends. All your, your, She's trying to make it seem like she was like, that he made her addicted to him. You guys were friends and you enjoyed his company and now you want to cancel him for some weird opportunistic reason or because you've convinced yourself what grooming is even though it's not and this is where we're at and i talk to when i'm sad and upset for the last two years and i've lost her friend and i've lost my job you know what probably happened why did you lose your job i want to know that specifically and i'm a complete mess <laughs> when did you lose your job after you falsely claimed this uh, falsely made a sexual harassment claim he was my everything for two years i woke up to his messages i went to sleep to his messages work was about him every single moment even if he's recording he's messaging oh. me asking for how many shots to take or stuff like that telling me how he's feeling if he's like okay. irritated with the recordings and stuff like that or he's upset that he can't get you know everything done in one go about eight months in is when so you guys were friends friends cool and he kind of started getting the um sexual stuff going how often yeah. once it started how often were you doing it it was like every day oh. every day that he was hitting you up for it or every day that you would actually give <sighs> it and do it no it was every day that i was being hit up for it i just okay i've been okay you guys are horny cool just in the past physically and so this isn't something Sorry, I just wanna... for it i just okay i have been just in the past I'm sure that she was. This is not sexual assault. Physically. And so this isn't something that I really enjoy. I just kind of complied with this. I just, okay. I don't, okay. Well, stuff. So you, he asked you to sex and you were like, yeah, sure. And you didn't say no. Listen, I understand that when it comes to like a physical, like some scenarios, it can be uncomfortable to say no, but there's a difference between being uncomfortable versus being threat, like in a threatening scenario. We're talking about the guy that all you had to do was say, I need you to start paying me or I won't work with you anymore. And he started paying you. And you're like, what you couldn't, you should have just said like, no, I don't want to bring it to that level. All you have to just say that. And if he keeps going, then expose him for being like overly pushy sexually. But you did it for how long? And like, you're trying to make it seem like you never want, I just don't believe it. Like, I'm, I'm tired. I'm I, like, I'm tired of this whole, that the narrative goes out of control. Like she was consensually messaging him probably, and then she like something happened. I don't care. You should have said no then. Sorry. You, you, like you're not at th risk or threat of anything. I know it doesn't seem like it in the screenshots and stuff, <sighs> but I don't enjoy sex. sexy sure. stuff. Makes me really uncomfortable. I was never really into it. In Dude, you're you were you literally got your job with him by fucking flirting with somebody and building a relationship with them for three months. I don't. I honestly just don't believe it. <laughs> like, there's no way that's. There's just no way. I, I, I find it very hard to believe that you are somebody who was able to be like whatever it was, the, the decoy for three months with that other random person and develop a relationship with them when they were talking, uh, they were they were telling their friends about you 
But your argument is that you're not a very sexual person. I don't really believe it. I just don't. Into it, but I know because, you know, I've had relationships and stuff. I know how to fake it really well. I would sure. usually agree to once a week okay. in the beginning, but eventually I just couldn't do it. I just got okay. to the point where I was just sending him old videos of nudes I made a while back. And I'm like, you know what? Fucking deal with this shit. I can't. She was probably into it at first and then it got boring. Okay. Do it. You would say you were like sharing nude images and stuff with him cool. like once a week? Yeah. Actually more than once a week because I just didn't want to record more stuff. So I just sent him old stuff too wank too yeah and i told him okay. that this is old videos and stuff and like you know reruns is what we would call it wait okay so reruns uh, cool. that's a good thing that you brought that up because that is Why? something i wanted to clarify because there are multiple screenshots where he's saying reruns and i didn't know if that meant like you were sending him old videos or if he was just yeah. like thinking about you or i was just sending him old videos i gotta figure the mount out as well so they're like ready for xpl those because for i can wait she asks him for reruns here what wait what is the context here was just yeah. like thinking about you or i was just sending him i gotta try to figure the mount out as well it's literally like ready for x expl what does that mean is are they having a separate conversation and she asks for reruns or is he asking for stuff and then he she doesn't have the ability to take it so she's like oh you want reruns instead okay cool i some old videos because I can, <sighs> and you'll notice that reruns are pretty common in the DMs. They are. Yeah. Because, <laughs> hey guys, newsflash. Hey guys, uh, man, this guy's horny. <laughs> we got him. Because I could not. We I just couldn't. Him. Like, for the, at least for the last six months, I just could not. So I would just make excuses consistently. Would you guys ever cool. like video chat live together or was it always just. The sexual setting? stuff was only um, like messages. He right. wanted to do live when he would go out of city or somewhere. He'd say he'd get a private hotel room and we could live video call, but I'd say, yeah, totally. And then I would not reply. This was around the summer oh, of 2022 okay. and Pierogi tells you he's going oh, you say no? out of town. Like you, what? He's going to have a private room to himself. And then he says, like, we're going to have to plan many HKD sessions, many high key drunk sessions. It's time. Hina, let's go. I'm here. Ha ha. Lo uh, she had to have removed the messages. Man. Yo, fam. I wanna, but I really can't. My depression is at an all-time low. I don't even have the desire to live anymore. Oh, dang. Based. I'm sorry. What can I do to help? Be there for me. There's no one. Remember all the people you help. I'm all alone, and it's suffocating. I'm sorry, fam. Just know that you're helping people. Sancho Jr. Wait, became a member. Thank you so much for the membership. Wait, wait, wait. Okay. All right. I don't know. Something's starting to add up a little bit here. Okay. So this guy is, in many cases, being overly pushy. And I had thought that she was unsending messages, which I think that she was. But now, if she's telling him that she doesn't have the will to live anymore and that she has nobody around her, what she's doing is she's fucking, she's, she's fucking suicide baiting for attention. Or maybe she really has these feelings and he's like, oh, no, I want to be there for you. So she's sitting here and expressing that she doesn't want to be alive anymore. No shit he's going to be extra pushy and try to make sure where she is at all times. Oh, we were really good friends for like two years. Oh, the guy would be really pushy and like, hey, where are you? He, uh, Hina, Hina, Hina. I don't know. Well, since you're saying that you want to take your own life and you have no friends, like, yeah, no kidding. He's being pushy. No shit. That's so, like, the, no kidding. Of course he's going to do that. Because he cares about you. What? This is so stupid. I know Bossman. And that's something to be proud of. We saved two huge ass wire transfers last week. A good HKD will help for sure. A good HKD. Trying to make you laugh, fam. After the first I'm broke again. Well, I'll pay ya. Ooh, then tomorrow, beer time. Gotta buy lube. LOL. What? Why did she say she needs to buy a lube? Dude, she's, she, that, that was unprompted by him. She's being sexual unprompted. I gotta fly tomorrow, fam. No, no. So time to plan multiple HKDs, lol. My only companion? While out of town. ONG. Live HKD, yes. Daddy. Possibly so. Dude, she's flirting with him without him even being sexual towards her. He hasn't said a single sexual thing, and then she said sexual things twice. Ooh, bathroom the... But you'll yeet. You better get a room. HKD long overdue. I'm excited now, and happy. At this point, you guys... I love that they're exposing themselves with the messages. This is so stupid. He said it was an HKD session. He meant like cyber shit, right? Yes, she knew that too. That's why she told him to get a room. <laughs> she wanted him to do that. Like yeah. cyber She was pushing for it there. What are you talking about? She called him daddy. I was just complying for it. Shut the fuck up. Yeah. So in the screenshots that you sent me, oh he uses God. 
some certain terminologies that I think should be explained. What was the position? By the way, October is my birthday month. You sending money today? Yes. Gonna reorder stuff from AliExpress and ask them for discreet packaging. And if I pay extra for shipping, it should arrive soon. Never got the position, haha. Jokes aside, fam, it'll be okay. We have scammers to fry. You shall get eat. Oh, I'll get what? Position. Ah. Yeah, she's, she's saying that she'll send him nudes. You sure? <clears throat> yes, sir. But I gotta order first. Position with Pink Buddy is difficult. Yes. Well, okay. thought you would have had by now, haha. -ha. Pink Buddy kind of lost the charm. Uh, is Pink Buddy is so Pink Buddy's a dildo that she plays with for him. Okay. <laughs> the silicone and the f***er is kind of bent. Pain. It sounds like she's trying to get him to send her more money and pay for sex toys. Well, I bought a laptop. Remember, fifty k this month last installment, and then I'm a rich woman again. Oh, noise. We she's terrible with her money. Gonna have two call centers soon, so lots to be done, fam. Oh, that will be amazing. He's saying, hey, there's going to be a lot more work, so I'll be able to pay you. I know. The new laptop is good, and I can connect it to the TV in my room. One is Ooh. 60 to 80 people. So I can keep it on. Awesome. Yeah, that's why I bought it. Have you figured out the position yet is the real question. I have. And the angle. But R.I.P. Oh, the position sounds like the position she's going to take to what? Like, help expose this? Pink buddy. You can still do it without in the interim care. laughing my, my ass, ass off. stupid as fuck. Sheesh. Ha <laughs> ha. Holy shit, I, oh, the position of nightmares. <laughs> yeah. The position of nightmares. So he sent me an image. It was of a model who had her butt out. She was sitting on- Great, he wanted you to do, to do that position for him. Haha, <laughs> yeah, you guys were mutually sexting, no kidding. Her legs at the beach. And he's like, I want, like, and it was shot at a back angle. So you would see her back and her butt. So he's like, I want you to do that, but like sit on- Uh, I get it. I'll make a new comment. Okay, who cares? This is so dumb, dude. This is ridiculous. At a back angle. So you would see her back and her butt. So he's like, I want you to do that, but like cool. sit on a dildo while you're doing it. And gotcha. And you did it. Take it up the ass. Up the ass. Oh my God. The guy you were having sexual relationships with wanted you to send him a sexual picture. This is disgusting. Why would this ever happen? Like, like specifically it had to be. Up the ass. Yeah. So if I'll show you. Okay, I had my wife sit on my chest last night when she jerked me off and I ate her ass. Like, what do you want me? What do you, who, ca who cares? Like, wh who cares? 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 Do the screenshots later of him just being like, I, me telling him, oh, my ass is too small. I need a plug, stuff like that. I mean, this time it'll happen. Trust me. Mm. Practice, though. I don't know if it'll go in the other hole yet. Okay, I promise. What's the practice? I've never promised before. Well, I have two plugs. Like I thought you got the real thing. Gotta open the hole up. I did. <sighs> okay. Oh, okay. So you haven't tried it yet. Hina sends Pierogi a screenshot confirming the delivery day of the new toy that she bought. Uh, cool. Sounds consensual. Even paid for extra shipping. Oh, November 15th. I thought you had it. I thought so too. I paid for the less than two week delivery option. Yeah, well I can just do mind reruns, haha. -ha. But apparently Customs loves inspecting those in all countries. It's very good for him. I hate reruns. I need. I always need a new picture. That's one of my things, so. Please. Yeah, lol. Mind reruns it is. Yes, sir. Where shall we start? You sure? Okay, lol. You deleted everything, daddy. Also, though, is 8.5, daddy. Oh, good. Want to see? Lol, hi. Wow, he, I guess he likes it. Likes a... That's huge, dude. What the hell? <laughs> That's huge. That's way too big. Yes, please, daddy. Next time. She bought an eight and a half to put in her butt. What the f... Tomorrow, then. You gotta respect me more. Tomorrow, you can punish me properly, daddy. Okay, so now they're just doing, like, kind of like a, a little bit of, like, little dom sub role play. Like, oh, you're a bad girl. Oh, you gotta respect me more. Yes, daddy. Blah, blah, blah. Okay. I'll be a good girl from now on. Okay, good. Are you sure? Yes, daddy. I need to be disciplined. So what will you do for now to make up? I can rerun. Do you think that- Dude, they have, dude, they have like a fucking intimate, like, uh, dom-sub relationship. This is insane. I'll be good enough. And practice properly tomorrow, daddy. Will that make it up? <laughs> we will see. Oh I'll be a good God. girl for daddy now. So okay. another thing that he says a lot in the screenshots is tutorial. What's, what does he mean when he says, I want the tutorial? This exposes her 1000%. How old is the idiot Savannah Marie? How, how is, how, what is, how old is she? Like, what's going on? What's, what's her personal s story? Um, dude, she's, I, I, like, I think that this person means well, but these people are so dumb. She deleted her Twitter. Of course she did. I'm fucking kidding. I would too if I was her. Or wait, is this actual true? Did she delete her Twitter? Yeah, she did. Dude, this person is so stupid. I, I You know what it is? Like, I can't even blame her. Uh, well, I can, because she's wrong, but it's like, she... <sighs> these narratives have gone out of control. <sighs> These narratives have gotten out of control, dude. So basically, my pink buddy that is now decommissioned. It's a dildo. We get it. It's a trauma. But okay. Okay. 
people. So basically, my pink buddy that is now decommissioned after trauma. Sure, I don't believe you at all. I don't care anymore. She just fucking eats hot chips and lies all the time. But um, decommissioned because of trauma. What does that mean? I just, I, it's hard. It's hard for me to just be like, yeah, sure. You're sitting here pushing a false accusation against this guy. He would ask me to just like, you know, kind of like a blow up, but suck on the. Pink so buddy. he wanted okay. to watch you essentially simulate giving up. Yeah. Wow. Why, what a weird guy. He would be like, oh, turn your, like, kind oh. of put your face up a bit more. Oh, or, like, take it in deeper. So, yeah. Oh, Jesus great. Christ. That's okay. Jesus, guys. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Jesus. This guy liked sex. Oh, this is disgusting. She did, too. No, women don't like that. Oh, wait, 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 what? This is, this is literally, like, this is going so fucking, this is, this is so woke. It's, like, fucking conservative at this point. We've now gone into the territory that, like, women don't like sex. That's where we're at. Okay. You haven't slept yet. Oof. Shots. Shall I do more? Oh, whoa, 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 You haven't slept yet? You want to do shots? Wait, I thought that he would constantly force you to do shots. Why are you asking him to do them now? Oh, okay. Yes. How many so far? I gotta catch up. Lots. But I'll grab more. <sighs> I need an erupting volcano emoji. <laughs> okay. Do you have any ideas? Gotta get out of bed for this, I guess. Yeah, I guess he needs to come. It's okay. I will just take a shot and go to sleep. Oh. Or, if you would like to perform live. Sorry. Drunk talk. Let me see. Give me like a- Like, I'm sure that there were moments when they were talking where she didn't want to do sex stuff and he wanted to do it. That, like, and, and she probably didn't- so This is this is where we've gone. Again, Me Too movement is good, but these are some of the areas where it goes, like, weird. This is that area where it's like, they, there are probably times where he wanted to do stuff and she didn't, which is normal. I have the same thing with my wife. There's times where she wants to do it and I don't. There's times where I want to do it and she doesn't. That's just how it is. And she would still do it for him. And, that, and now that's not consent anymore. That is consent. But like now if you don't want to do something and you do it of your own volition without being forced, that's not consent anymore. Even though it is consent. Like there's times like my wife and I have to have sex to have a baby and like we have to have it on specific times. It's a part of the, the ritual <laughs> for what we're doing. We don't want to have sex all the time. It's very, it becomes very inorganic. That doesn't mean that we're raping each other. Like this is what's happening. There is going to there was moments where she didn't want to do something but she still did it consensually but she didn't want to do it. Okay. A sec. Okay. No electricity. Live performances be out of the picture right now. Oh, okay. Dang. So go back to sleep me. Yes. I go back to sleep with you. No, I am saying I should put it away and go to sleep laughing my ass off. How dare you put it away and not in me. Like, so rude, daddy. Okay, so now she can't do the stuff. But she clearly wants to do it. He's like, okay, I could just stop then. And she's like, no, no, no. <laughs> like, oh, okay. Wow, what a bad guy. Like, I don't understand. Sorry. You wouldn't do in dark. I have holes too, you know. They have feelings. LOL. I'm LOL. just gonna chug. Same. LOL. Let me record. I, I chugged the rest of Fireball. GG for me. Those dang lights. I mean, we could do like sexy lighting shots or something. But like daddy look. My hair is long enough for you to pull now. Good baby. Dude, this, she's, oh, this is, I can't, I can't believe that, that, I can't believe that they use this in the video. This is how you know that they, that they're, this is how you know that they're just stupid. <laughs> this is how you know that they're just stupid. Because they're proving to us in the screenshots that none of this is any form of sexual assault. Or any form of coercion or whatever bullshit they were trying to claim it was. Or grooming. Put it into pigtails then. Both sides. Mm. I got you. <sighs> it's that bad. LOL. No, it's too big. Obviously. Once I'm sober, I'm making an HKD folder LMFAO on Dropbox. I have so many clips like, oh my god. Even I use them to explode sometimes. Okay, so she makes clips of herself masturbating and she's like, after we're done, I gotta make this for you. I want you to see it. Like, wow. Really? Like, I go back and I'm like, yeah, we did this. And then I fap, like recalling the whole thing. In my hole, yes. I should just volcano emoji, I assume. Nor, give me something daddy to work with. <laughs> so I chug then. Yes, we chug. <laughs> Dude, she's so into this. She's initiating the sexual conversation like most of the time from what we're seeing. Okay, I will find more. Oh man, I'm about the volcano emoji. <laughs> yes, don't leave me behind daddy. Okay, I'm not. I'm catching up to you for like my explosion too, daddy. I'll be a good girl this time and wait to volcano emoji with you. What does she have a cock? What the fuck? I'm gonna a volcano. I'm gonna fap. That men, men fap. Women, they just rub that bean. What are you talking about? Okay, I'll wait. Okay, first can down, daddy. Should I drink Holy more? Fuck. Or get the headband? Or maybe pink buddy? Tell me what you want me to do, daddy. Dude, she's so, she wants it so bad. Good girl chugging. Mm -hmm. I don't know is one enough. Okay, I get. And he's kind of a pussy, by the way. He's kind of like she's very submissive, and he when she wants him to be dominant, and like he doesn't seem to be a pole, like uh, able to keep up with what she wants. That's the funniest part about this. More daddy. Okay, 
Volcano Daddy, are you emoji. drinking with me, though? I had Fireball and found more. Ooh. Whoa, ooh. I want to drink ooh, Fireball. Ooh. I did more chugs. Headache, here I come. Ooh, it's okay. Ooh. We have a day to deal with being hungover. Chug, ooh, chug, chug. Ooh. Chug, you say. Oh, yes, she's, I say. I command. She's now chugging naked. <laughs> and laughing my ass off. Your wish is my command, Daddy. <laughs> this is unhinged. Win. Costs too much. I'm fairly wasted, to be honest. I'm extra wasted. Like two days of drinking. GG, explode time. Go. <laughs> Oki requests. No long pose, or is that prohibited? Long pose. <laughs> Tell me. I try. Ask the camera bouncing on the buddy and feet flat on floor. Hmm. <laughs> mm. I'm a try. Dunno if small bulbs will catch it. Ah, man. I'm getting like 10 to 15 hours of load shedding. I need to buy like a power source. <laughs> so funny. For laptop or something. I GG's then. No. Wait. I have a classic. That won't load. Okie, enter me now. Thanks. Did the lights enter me now? Thanks. Baby, say that to me. Not work too. They know work, yeah. It's oldie, but like the best. Can I see the oldie one? Okie, which okay. one? Which the one? doggy style pose. Okie. Yes, those are best. HKT so was not about being a comfortable space after it. You guys were using it to sex. Shut up. Monson. Like, it was not. Did you ever <sighs> initiate it with him or what? Oh, we just saw it like four times. He was literally about to go to bed, and she's like, "No, no, no." Was he always the one? I'm not sure, honestly. But I'm not sure, honestly. You'd be sure. I would say she. The answer is yes. She would initiate too. that. Yes, I might have initiated it a couple of times. But it doesn't fit with her narrative. She's lying. I think this Savannah person is just really stupid. But this girl is like, no, she's lying. I'm not gonna like act like I'm an innocent Andy and all of this. I mean, in general, it was usually a him thing. Let's just say if there were a hundred times, ninety-five times with him, was him just doing it yeah except for the instance that you just showed us which wasn't him <laughs> it's like fucking smart play on that one girl and maybe i would do it five times if i wanted him drunk because if he's drunk he passes out oof that was so what the oh so she's trying to say like oh she would try to get him drunk so he would stop fucking with her this is just lies fun okay i sleep now i pass out now i know explode though okay go okay speak dirty to me daddy <laughs> Tell me how you'd f me. Wait, 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 wait. Sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. She's trying to push the narrative. She wasn't interested at all. He finished, and she's like, no, I'm not done. Speak dirty to me. What the fuck are you talking about? It's very clear that she wants this. She could have just left the conversation there, but she, he's done, and she's not. Oh, I, I just wanted to get him drunk so he would stop sexting me. He was ready to stop. You, He was ready to stop when you couldn't like live stream it or whatever. So he's like, okay, I'll go to bed. And then she, you were like, no, don't do that. And then he finished and you're like, I'm not finished. Keep talking to me. No way. This is insane. This is unhinged behavior. I want to know what you'd do to me. Be rough, daddy. I'd fart on you. I've been a bad, bad. Oh yeah, I'm going to make up false accusations about you so hard, girl. Ooh. Bad girl. It took her 27 minutes to come? Shh, what a loser. This is why men don't care about women's orgasms. I passed out. I'm back. New. No. Oh, he actually fell asleep and felt bad. I'm back. But so late. Daddy, you left me. I passed out. Daddy, go sleep. We will have the best sex ever later. Can't have you passing out midway. One of these days when he <sighs> was trying to initiate cyber sex with you in an HKD channel, you told him that you were in the hospital. Yeah. Um, was that true? Okay. What does that you matter? You were just oh. home. Yep. I Why did you lie to him? You're very clearly into this engagement i have to go to really extreme excuses to um <laughs> no you wouldn't you literally said you couldn't like do a video cat chat or whatever and he said okay i'll put it away <laughs> you, you you're showing us the opposite make him stop so my excuse then was that um i had a heart problem and i was in the hospital for that small oh, okay. excuses just stopped working by that point so I you showed us the smallest excuse and it worked i don't believe any I was of this like, you know what? i'm gonna die i have a heart problem and he still wanted to do hkd hey hina daddy here hina hina Hello, Hina. Daddy, you gotta wait. I'm at the hospital, but I have been a bad girl. You gotta spank me. What the fuck is this? So he's he's being annoying here. We've already established that she'll threaten suicide, by the way, uh, to get attention. Or maybe it's genuine, but either way. So he's being extra clingy. That might be a factor. Then she's like, I'm in the hospital, but you gotta, I've been a bad girl, so you gotta spank me. She's horny at the hospital, bro. She's horny in the hospital. Who the fuck doesn't get horny at a hospital, by the way? Let's say you're there for three days. You don't, I, if, you, if you jerk off every day, you're horny at the hospital. If I'm in a coma, I want my wife to play with my dingle. I don't care. I give you consent forever. I don't care if that's how it works or not. Dude, she just said that she had to use it as an excuse. So she said, Daddy, you got to wait. I'm in the hospital. But I've been a bad girl. You have to spank me. She's the one that wants it.
This is insane. This is insane. This is insane, dude. There's no way. I think they're both lying at this point. How do you push this? She, no, they're both liars. How does this Savannah Marie person try to push this narrative with Tina that she had to make excuses or he wouldn't stop? And then the next thing you do is put a clip where she's the one, she's the one initiating. For honestly, she gives the excuse and then says, "I want to. I want you to spank my ass. I've been a bad girl." You're dumb. You're either dumb or dishonest. What the fuck? What are you doing? Oh, you look so stupid right now. You look so stupid. This is embarrassing for you. This is so embarrassing for you. Oh my God. And you kept the video up? This is wild. Oh my God. Bitches do be tripping, dude. What the fuck? I wanted you to see my dick. Daddy, I want to see you so bad. <laughs> Bro, she's sexting with him at the hospital, dude. She's in the hospital, and she wants it. it. Let it enter me. Oh, where have you been? Hospital, daddy. Am I ever going to get you the implant? Oh. <laughs> okay. Also, how long is the hospital for? I've been a very bad girl, daddy. Promise to punish me later. That's not a good girl. Hospital for at least a year. <laughs> what? But I'll be home by 10 p.m. It's 4 p.m. right now. What is hospital for at least a year, but I'll be home by 10? What does that even mean? That's not good. Tisk, why have you been bad? Why not good? I Wait, what? Hospital for a year? Wait, is she in... Uh, <sighs> Something doesn't add up to me. Does hospital mean something different in her fucking, in her language? I, hospital for a year, but I'll be home by 10. It, what does that mean? Does, is she seeing like a therapist or something? Because she tried to. Uh, I've been flossing while thinking of you, daddy. And without you, so I've been a very bad girl. Okay, what have you been thinking? I've been thinking about all 8.5 <laughs> inches of you, of how you'd fly. Oh, uh, 0.5. Got to get that extra half in there. I'm going to see how how you'd fill me up with your bro she's <laughs> rough let me see what do you want to see daddy everything Dude, she's Position. so horny tutorial but daddy i'm in the hospital you're not being obedient enough i can't record i haven't been listening to daddy have i no. basically she's interested at this point it's not being too bushy for him to do this it's actually it's like it's just like public stuff it's kind of hot like you would be like oh yeah let's do it like do it in the hospital for me i've done that to, are you kidding me this has never happened this is a joke I've asked my wife for tip picks while she's at work. She's like, oh, I'm at work. I don't give a fuck, dude. It's hot. And then you know what? She never, she's never sent to me before. <laughs> and I'll fucking show her my cock. I don't care. This is normal sexting. This is normal. None of this is weird. Nope. Will you punish me later, daddy? Tutorial means show me. I don't know what more I can say. I mean, I'm dying with a heart problem. And exactly. <laughs> I wish. I mean, oh, so she has a heart problem. So she was in the hospital. Dude, that makes even more sense to me. So she has some kind of like chronic heart problem, which means it's normal to her. So she's in and out of the hospital. So when she's in the hospital, it's not a distressing experience for her. Like a lot of other people would be distressed if they were in the hospital. So she's probably in there for a little while. Um, it's a little, it's not, it's like, okay, this is kind of a normal for her. So she's not taking it too crazy and she wants to sex with him because she's still horny in the hospital. That's it. That's what's happening. Very basic, very obvious. It's like almost to the point where that excuse didn't even work for him. That should have been like, oh, oh shit, like, sorry, are you okay? I love it when, uh, um, interviewers ask, uh, uh, push very leading narratives. You're giving her a narrative. You're you're trying to help her phrase a narrative instead of just let her talk. It's it's very disingenuous. Okay, it wasn't. He didn't even ask if you were okay. No excuse ever. Worked. Probably because you guys have already. He probably knows about your chronic heart problem and knows that it's not that big of a deal. That's why you're in the hospital. Like yeah, it sucks, but like it's normal for you guys. So he's not sitting here like oh my god. Didn't he? Even, he even said though, are you okay? And she's like yeah, I'm fine. And then you went back to sexting. Wait, what? This is stupid. It was like, oh, you're gonna get home from the hospital, then you have to. Um, but it was never, oh no God. excuse ever worked. Like even when I tried to quit a couple of times, like I, 
I'm not good at confrontation at all. So yes, you are. You very clearly are. You're just lying. Are you kidding me? I wanted to make an excuse to kind of get show it. the job. Show us. So I'd be like, you know, I. So you wanted to quit. I tried to quit a couple of times. Like I. Wait, I'm wait, not good wait, at wait, 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 wait. You tried to quit, but you couldn't quit because you were not good at confrontation. But somehow he was still leveraging the job that you're saying you didn't want for sex. So you weren't afraid to lose your job because you didn't want it. But you still felt like the job was being threatened. It doesn't make sense. If you, none of this makes sense. You said you did, uh, this, none of this makes any sense. At all. So I wanted to make an excuse to kind of get, leave the job. So I'd be like, you know, I can't do it. Uh, I can't work this many long hours, um, blah, blah, blah. And he'd just try to accommodate my request. What an asshole. Yeah, sorry, I can't do as many long hours. Oh, yeah, you know what? I'll try to work with you. What a bad guy. <laughs> what a bad guy. So rather than actually taking them as excuses to leave. he didn't You were saying that you were like, oh, my. You were probably saying like, oh, I'm not going to be able to do as much work anymore. And he was like, oh, let me try to help you with that. Like, I don't want you to be overburdened because I like you. This is a dream boss for most other people. Really let me do that. By the end, when I left, I still didn't tell him I'm leaving because of the stuff you've done. I told him I left because I feel like I can't learn anything more from scam baiting. And I wanted to expand my horizons. Ultimately, your your reason for leaving was because of the sexual harassment. No, it wasn't. You said that the re you said that he used the sexual harassment to force you to... S as leverage. None of this makes any sense. And you couldn't handle it anymore. Yeah. When no. I left, he was still like, um, he was like, what probably happened is she got bored of him and you could see why he's like not very good at sexting. She's obviously like a very uh, submissive person sexting wise and he was not good at it. So she got tired of him and wanted to move on. That's literally all it was. It's very obvious. It's, oh, but we'll still be your, uh, I'll still be your Paya, right? Paya means brother. And I used to call him that. So he's like, you'll still be my behna. Ew, you fucking dirty bitch. She's fucking, ew, she's into some weird shit. I like it. Oh, oh, you're my brother. Oh, yeah, I am. I'm your brother. <laughs> you fucking nasty fucking. <laughs> I'm a mean sister. So I guess he was kind of trying to see if I'd still help him drink or not. But as soon as I quit my job, it was a day or two after. He just completely stopped with all that. So he never. So he stopped harassing. He, he was not even harassing. He stopped after you told him you didn't want to engage anymore. Wow. This guy is a really nice guy, except to his wife try to initiate cyber sex with you after you quit was no, he trying never. to initiate it all the way up until you quit like the day before you quit kind of thing or so it hadn't slowed down it was still going in full force and you yeah just keep telling her make sure you just keep spinning narratives for her she needs the to only help. thing that had slowed down was him streaming he would there would be That's not, it makes sense sounds like he was depressed because like a really good friend of his he probably was in love with this girl and she was done with him which by the way is fine you could be done with him i don't care she just is so stupid. A month where he wouldn't stream or two months where he wouldn't stream. I didn't do anything that month. What am I taking money for? And those months were the hardest. Like those months were the ones where I actually had to cave in properly and do the videos. Like not do reruns and stuff. Yeah, not do reruns, actually record new stuff. There were months where he wasn't streaming and you weren't doing translating work for him. So like in order to justify him paying you, you would give in to more. Wait, 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 wait. So what I'm hearing is he wasn't doing work and he was still paying her. Wow. Shit yeah. with him? Eventually I became like, you know, he'd be like, I'm sending him your salary, so let's do HKD after. Uh, is this will make you happy with me? I start every morning asking, yes. Did you want me to pay first, mommy? Yes, please. Okay. Okay, sorry, I will now. Okay, great. So you, be, you, were, a, you were his whore. Cool. You were like a prostitute for him at some point. I don't care. Uh, you got like you clearly had like some kind of switch relationship going on. Like, do you want me to pay you first, mommy? Yes, I do. Okay. So, in my opinion, that's not okay. That's not. I don't care what you think. You're, I don't care what you think. You're dumb. You're a dumb idiot. She's the. She's literally. This is like you could tell by the way that she looks. She's like the feminist that thinks that OnlyFans is empowering. So why wouldn't you think this type of sex work is empowering? I don't understand. I don't care. None of this matters. None of this is anything. None of this is meaningful. It's not an okay relationship to have with your employees. I, I mean, care. I never thought of him care. as my employer. I always thought of him as my best friend. Were wow. you afraid? I thought you said it was your brother. That if you didn't comply with his advances, that you would lose your job. He never said it. Oh. Why would no? Of course not. You just said that like you wanted to quit, but you were having trouble quitting. 
So very clearly, you weren't afraid of losing the sexual relationship. Like you've admitted it already. Or were you afraid if you didn't do the sex stuff, you would leave? Oh yeah, I was really. So when you wanted to quit, why were, why did you keep telling? Why did you tell us that you tried to quit like fifteen times, and you couldn't do it because you weren't confrontational? Wouldn't you just like it doesn't make any sense? None of that makes any sense. You would just be able to be like, oh, I, I'm not doing the sex stuff, and then he would just fire you. You wouldn't even have to quit. It doesn't make any sense. Me, but I was afraid. I'm, I've always been insecure about my position at Scammer Payback. Okay. It's not something Pierogi did. It's just me what? and what? my insecurities. That doesn't make sense. You're telling us that you were always insecure about your position, but it wasn't his fault. What? That doesn't make any sense. You're just trying to say it was his fault. Okay. But I was always insecure about my position at Scammer Payback. Cool. I always felt like I was very easily replaceable. It's because you're working that type of Memory a job. Memory from 1,997 super shattered oh $1.99. Uh, I miss your 8.5 inches per par. Thank you. <laughs> Appreciate that. So I always felt like I had to go above and beyond to make sure uh, I kept my position. Okay. Every time you put, bring up a screenshot or stuff like that, I'm just like, oh my god, did that actually happen? There are times when my friends would share screenshots of stuff I said to them, <sighs> or like a screenshot of stuff that P said to me, and I'd be like, holy shit, I really didn't want to go along with it. No, you're lying. We just saw that you you were the aggressor i was going to use the word aggressor you were the aggressor in most of these scenarios from what you've shown us but i don't remember those stuff i just remember <sighs> me complying i don't really remember so like if you were hey mommy do you want me to send you money yes yes i do <laughs> okay yeah he was so dominant over you look back at the screenshots the next day like hey, would mommy. you have like hazy memories of it at all or no yeah it's like he drugged me and raped me fuck if it was the next day it would be hazy but like let's say a month from now i won't remember anything one very important what are you a drug addict thing here that i'd like to emphasize is, is that you're consent. Dumb? i appreciate you don't know what that means you obviously don't know what consent is because everything that's happening is consensual that henna is very open and aware of her involvement in all this however in the united states for example there have been many court cases and criminal trials not saying that this is a criminal trial at all it's obviously not never will be but anyway there are cases galore essentially establishing that someone who is intoxicated especially someone who is heavily intoxicated cannot give consent Crashing slowly super shattered five dollars Today is my 29th birthday. Papa Gut, what do I get for dinner today? Oh, I don't know. Something with corn in it. I hate this woman so much. She's such a bad person. Okay. All right. I'm always skeptical when somebody does these conversations and does constant cut-ins and outs to try to push a narrative. They were both drinking at the same time. If you're both the same level of drunk then both of you have the same capacity to consent. If a guy is as drunk as a girl, how is it that the girl I was raped? Oh, $1 you're dumb. You're an cents. idiot person. Thank you so much for the $2, Ricky. You're a fucking idiot. They're both getting heavily drunk. They're both flirting. She's in the hospital where she can't drink, and she's initiating sexual conversation with him. Oh, when you're drunk, you can't consent. Okay, they're both. When when one person is incredibly drunk and the other person isn't, that's when consent becomes a conversation. If you're both the same level of drunk, you both have the same capacity to consent. Okay, sorry, that's it. How, but what you're telling me is that she raped him actually because he was drunk. He was drunk. Why is it not the other way around? Oh, right, because you're infantilizing women, right? Because you're the sexist, and I'm the fucking. I'm the based one here. Often found herself waking up the next morning with very hazy memories of the previous night's HKD session. If not, told she was egging him on to drink more. We saw the messages. Am I fucking dumb? Totally forgetting the whole thing entirely. A good rule of thumb that most articles that I've read on the topic. Great articles. Suggest that if someone is intoxicated to the point where they're incapable of making reasonable judgments and decisions, <sighs> they're probably too intoxicated. Great. The both of them are getting drunk together consensually. They started not drunk. To consent. If you even need to question whether oh or not somebody God. is too intoxicated to consent, oh they're God. probably too intoxicated. We we need to go back to arranged marriages. That's that's where we're at now. We we need to go back to men giving women away, because like clearly women are too stupid to be able to engage in, in sex consensually anymore. Women are too fucking dumb. That's what this woman Hannah is. Despite the fact that she's messaging him, she's the one being more sexually aggressive than him. She's the one that's clearly more interested in sex than him. She's the one asking for it. He's like, hey, where have you been? I'm in the hospital. My pussy is wet for you, baby. Uh, send mommy money. Despite the fact she still was somehow groomed and, and assaulted here. So women 
by this video's logic, women are too stupid to engage in in sex anymore. So men have to, their fathers need to be the ones that are, apply consent. That's what this video is saying. This woman wanted to sex with this guy. Every single screenshot she shows shows that. And still somehow we're trying to push this narrative that she never wanted to do it. It doesn't make any sense. What's what's the point? Like, well, this is stupid. This is so dumb. Enough of this. It's so fucking stupid. Like, it's so tiring. Uh, arranged marriages are the only things that we can do anymore. That's all we can do. That's it. That's it. That's the only way that we can make sure that both parties can fucking properly consent or whatever. There's no other there's no other option based on this video. There's nothing else. To consent. And then in that case, you know, you probably should not pursue anything with that person. Shut While up. personal responsibility is something that should be practiced in all aspects of life. Super chatted one dollar and ninety nine cents. Cancelled for being a goon. <laughs> True. If, if you're being pressured to drink uh, excessive amounts of alcohol, she if you're wasn't. literally chugging multiple beers to the point where if your memories of that previous beers. night are totally wiped out, you're probably too drunk to consent to sexual activity. Okay, if you're if you have a pattern of getting so drunk that you can't consent, why are you continuously getting that drunk? Oh yeah, I get drunk a lot. And the guy takes, hey, every time I get drunk, a guy takes advantage of me. So why are you getting drunk? I'm not trying to be an asshole. This is their, like, if if you're getting assaulted every time you get drunk, why are you getting drunk anymore? Like, I'm not trying to be rude. This isn't a, a situation where anybody is getting assaulted, by the way. But if your logic is like, yeah, I, he would get me so drunk all the time, constantly get me drunk to do this, then why are you getting drunk with him? If you find him to be a threat. It's like, fool me once, shame on you. Fool me twice, shame on me. You know, fool me 15 times. Like, you know what I mean? Like, this doesn't make any sense. Why would you want to continuously go into an atmosphere that you would get harmed in? It doesn't make any sense. Okay, this is not me saying women shouldn't be able to go out and drink at all. Right? I understand some men can be disgusting animals. But, like, in this scenario, you're, you're lying. But you're saying that, like, he would pressure you to drink constantly. Or that's the narrative being pushed by this person. Over and over and over again. And then you're to a point where you can't consent. Why would you can and you, you 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 why would you continue to drink? I don't really understand it. You're just engaging in self harm. Then again, but here's the thing: they would both drink together, so it doesn't matter. And there's no objective level of intoxication to where someone can no longer give consent. That has not been established. Shut up. But what has been well established is that alcohol and drug consumption plays a big role in determining whether or not a victim can consent to sexual activity. Whoa. So, given all of this, Whoa. would you consider wow. all of this to wow, be you're so smart. cheating? Because as we yes, no shit. That's the only thing he's guilty of is cheating. I don't care. That's not good. Hey, don't cheat, guys. Okay, cool. We finished. The video's over. No, as he's very open. Thank you so much for the 11-month small gut from Joe Mama Jutsu. Wow, victim blame, Papa. The Leviathans are coming. Good. I don't care. I don't give a shit. I don't have to worry about any of this stuff. I'm married. I'm lived. Let me tell you something. Being married is fantastic. It's fucking amazing. You avoid all this fucking idiot bullshit all the time. I I feel. I honestly, I'm starting to feel horrible for fucking people still dating. Oh my god. You're. I mean, Jesus Christ. Oh my god. Seems like nowadays all you have to do is go back and say, oh, I don't think I wanted it, even though you very clearly consented, and now you get to say that somebody assaulted you. That's pretty much where we're at. It's actually insane. It's actually insane. I'm becoming very skeptical about a lot of this shit. It's fucking wild. This stuff is, this is fucking it's out of control. Been about, uh, according to you, I don't really watch his stuff, but according to you, his wife is like a well-known person Whoa. in the land of Hirogi, and, he, and we also know that he has a family. He has Crazy. Kids. Yes. Yeah. Yeah, I so, would consider it cheating. Yes. Yeah, thanks for the really intelligent insight that you were considering having a relationship for two years with another woman. Um, cheating. You're such a smart person. Holy fuck! Like, what would we do without you? I would, and I would also consider myself a guilty party in that. So I'm sorry. No there was a oh wait, I thought that he would force you every time. What are you talking about? Why would you be guilty? Power dynamic there. Even if there was a power, the power dynamic clearly is in her favor because she's able to cancel him the second that she no longer wants to work with him. Power dynamic. At the end of the day, I'm the person that ended up being a guilty party and you said it was grooming what are you talking about kind of destroying not even i don't i hope it doesn't destroy his family but why i was this guy groomed you you said that i should have said no i knew he was married with kids i mean oh if God. i want to get him held accountable i have to hold myself accountable too in my opinion while henna says things comments are turned off along the lines of like i should have said no i could have said no
it's not her fault because women are too stupid to to be able to know how life works. That's what our argument is. Dude, it's crazy how like some form, forms of like feminism just infantilize women. It's insane. I shouldn't have gone along with it. It goes from like a, the proper conversation where men need to be um they need to be aware of like making women feel comfortable to like women can never do anything wrong ever. It's insane. Uh, I don't think that she was in the right state of mind to re why she was an adult reasonably agree to why? cyber with pierogi. How? Why? Based on what? Based on what? Again, just my personal opinion. Based on based on what? What's your opinion based on? You could be wrong, but at least tell us why. Why? Because she would they would drink together. Because she had a heart problem. Because she was so horny, she's a gooner. That's really what it is. This woman's clearly incredibly horny. That's what I've no. That's what I figured out from here. She's incredibly horny. If anybody assaulted anybody, it was fucking Hannah. Okay, I'm sorry, but she's fucking horny. She's the one being incredibly pushy. Obviously, this probably doesn't apply to every circumstance, but given what we know, I think it probably applies to a lot of them. Shut As up. a matter of fact, You're I would dumb. say that she felt pressured to comply with Pierogi's advances oh because she God. was worried about her job security. Oh Pierogi my God. Even though she wanted to leave and she's right, that makes was sense. was obviously intoxicated as well. Oh God. But again, in my opinion, that doesn't- In my opinion, men are always raping. They be women be eating hot chip and lime, men be eating jerky and rape. And absolve him from personal responsibility. So if he's drunk as her, he's still the aggressor, even though you said he she can't he can't consent. I'm not understanding what you're saying. I thought if you got drunk, you can't consent. What? And in my opinion, the one out of the two of them that had the responsibility to make sure that their relationship did not cross that line was the one paying the other's salary. It was both of their responsibilities. She didn't show anywhere where she felt forced or to do any of this. She very clearly wanted to have a sexual relationship with a guy who is famous. That's all it comes down to. She's a fucking groupie. She's in, she's just another internet groupie. That's all she is. She's an internet groupie. She wanted to fuck around with this guy. That's why she would, a big fan of his, would constantly, bro, even for me, a fucking big fat fuck, there are plenty of women who would come in here and try to like talk to me sexually. Women are weird. They're fucking weirdos. You, the fattest, ugliest fucking streamer you know has somebody going into their chat going, I, oh, hey, flirting with them, hopefully, like reaching out to you in DMs, hoping that you'll reach out to them back. Okay? And in my heyday, when I was still in a non-monogamous relationship, you know, I was a little bit of a gooner. That's why I like to be married. It's so much better. Because people are insane. People are psychopaths, and their fucking narratives get out of control. So, uh, none of this matters. She was a groupie. That's all it was. She's a fucking groupie. And then she got a job being a groupie, and then she got a job doing nothing. Having to, she got a job sending her boobs to him when she, whenever she wanted to, like in the hospital. I mean, I don't know how he handles that much alcohol. I get drunk after a beer or two, but you shut up. Like, I don't know how he handles that much alcohol. I mean, yeah, he's just built differently, obviously. Some of the screenshots really don't. you guys were saying, like, oh, I'm like six and a half shots in or something like that, like crazy stuff. I'm like, dude, I would be on. Dude, I'd, I'd be dead from six shots. She's not a light drinker. The floor. No, it would start like by the end. It's like we. It's bold if you do assume that they're all women. Yeah, true. Some of them. There's a lot of men in my chat. Want to fuck me too? I actually still get messages from guys that are trying to flirt with me. It's fucking funny. It always start with three shots. It but they're never fenboys, so I can never say anything. It always depended on his mood. If you Dude, three shots of fireball would put me on my ass. What are you talking about? This woman is a drinker. He would drink however much he wanted to drink, but he would um, still put it on me. Do you feel like you were telling him to take shots too? You enabled his drinking. I, I like you. This is the, these are leading questions, by the way. Be very like. Do you feel like he was the one directing? Uh, well, let me let me just play the question for you. I'll put it on me. Do you feel like you enabled? His drinking. What do you think the relationship with you guys, with his drinking was when reference to you? That would be what you would actually ask. She's asking a leading question. She wants. She's asking a question that's a yes or a no. You don't ask yes or no questions. You don't ask leading questions when you're doing this kind of thing. You ask questions that are open to them thinking so that they give you an honest answer. You don't say, so, uh, you know, did you, uh, no. You just say like, hey, what is your general relationship with this thing? This is all very disingenuous, disgusting, manipulative fucking behavior. This is the problem. These young people are, are smarter than they used to be, but they're all also incredibly fucking stupid at the same time. I definitely do. Yeah, I definitely do. Do you feel like he enabled your drinking? No, she said she was in the hospital. It was a lie. She was never in the hospital. She was needing an excuse. No, she was lying about it being a lie. She said she was in the hospital as to get him to stop sexting her. And then she showed us the screenshots where he said, hey, what's up? And she's like, I'm in the hospital. I need my, I need my ass spanked, daddy. I'm so horny for you. 
She was in the hospital for her heart condition. It wasn't a lie, and it wasn't an excuse to stop. She still wanted him to sex her. It wasn't a lie at all. She wanted, she was trying to sexually engage with him while she was in the hospital. Yeah. He would stream drunk all the time, though, right? And if it was an excuse, it's a weird one because she still wanted to sex him. She's the one who initiated that one. Yeah. Yeah. Did the audience know he was drunk? Was he taking shots on camera? So he would, like, turn his camera off and take a shot with you? Sometimes he'd turn the camera off and take a shot. Other times he would just have it in a cup of coffee or something. Did you ever fart, send fart videos to him? Can I see them? And, like, just chug that. It breaks my heart at how hard Shut Hannah up. is on herself. Shut and it's up. obvious that the two of them enabled each other's drinking. However, in my oh opinion, my that power... Uh, my opinion, since he's a boy, um... Power dynamic between since pa uh, hey power dynamic i you guys use power dynamic like people eat avocados it's a fucking buzzword to you guys it's a super fruit oh blueberries oh avocados oh these are the new fucking trend guys you should really eat them oh my god this is the new thing you don't know what that word means you don't understand what a power dynamic is you just think that because one exists that means that they're instantaneously abused you're an idiot you don't even know you don't know what you're saying you're listening to dumb people on fucking tiktok learning new words that you don't understand or any concepts that you can ever sit down and like t articulate and you're sitting and telling us all oh, power dynamic all oh, the power dynamic all oh, the power dynamic what the fuck what are you, what are you talking about <laughs> okay between the two of them says that most of the responsibility lies on if if uh if the existence of this is the funniest thing it's always progressives who say it. i'm a progressive but it's always that oh oh uh, the existence of a power dynamic that makes it abusive okay great then the government's raping us all the time because of taxes that's a power dynamic like oh, oh taxes are then taxes are theft conservatives are right conservatives are right if 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 anytime there's a power dynamic you're being abused then then the government is abusing us through taxes that's where we're at guys Everything is abused. We're all there's no there's nothing intelligent. Nothing nothing. Nothing. We're done. We're done. Everything's everything's bad. On pierogi to make sure that these things don't happen. Shut up. I say that again in my opinion. Your opinion sucks. And if I was sitting here actually thinking of like a sexual abuse case, I wouldn't be sitting here like qualifying everything. Well, well, my opinion, he he would force her and violently blah 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 blah. I wouldn't be sitting here like qualifying it so much and being so calm the fuck out of here if you actually thought this you wouldn't be like well actually uh, upon second thought i think no shut up you're trying to you brought the word grooming up in the beginning and now you're so nonchalant about it's my opinion what are you talking about none of the energy doesn't match because pierogi regularly works with people who are from the same part of the world oh as my, henna oh he is aware God. of the economic conditions of that part of the world he is aware of how desperate people are so you're so you're saying <clears throat> this is this is the new narrative what she's saying is this guy is preying upon women in other countries that can be a thing you have to show it simply paying a person to do a thing does not show that he's abusing or manipulating a dynamic She was getting paid a thousand dollars a month to do translating work on streams, and then she was getting paid to not like to, to shut the fuck up for money. Given that his entire oh job God. is shut to up. expose and shut down scam call centers that employ people who are so desperate for money that they're willing to make their living by stealing it from innocent people, I just find it hard to believe. Again, my opinion that Pierogi never considered this power dynamic that he had over Hina being her boss. Wait, but you're, you're wait no. Oh my God, she's so stupid. She's so dumb. That Pierogi never considered this power dynamic. So Pierogi never considered the power dynamic, but Pierogi knows that these women are economically vulnerable and he's preying upon these women. Which is it? In a minute, you reversed your own narrative. He cannot not be aware of the power dynamic in your narrative, but then at the same time, be aware of the power dynamic in your narrative. Okay, if he's aware that they're economically vulnerable and he can prey on them, then you're saying he's aware of the power dynamic and he's trying to take advantage of them. These two individuals situate, they don't, you, you can't say these words together. You're making things, you're just saying words. You're just, you're just fucking, you're just vomiting everywhere. What are you talking about? Oh my God. That he had over Hina being her boss was at being least a boss. partial contributor I don't care. to her willingness to go along with everything. No, she simped for him. That's why she did free work for him for like a fucking months. She liked him a lot. She's a groupie. That's it. Also, Pierogi is the married one. He oh, has yeah. children. He has. Yeah, he's an asshole. He betrayed his wife. I hope his wife stabs him in the fucking nut. 
family. He supposedly takes care. his faith so seriously that he's dedicated enough to oh go to church God. every Sunday, oh or at least God. on a pretty regular oh basis. What you, so from what I understand, his wife is the one who's mainly extremely religious, <sighs> from what I've understood. Maybe she doesn't give good dome. I don't know. But he does enjoy his church mass a lot. He loves Sunday church. He goes. Maybe he goes to a black church. You know, that was her fucking fun. To different cities for church uh, stuff. So he's definitely religious. But he's kind of toned down uh, speaking about his beliefs online because he became a bigger YouTuber and a bigger content creator. Okay. So he couldn't really speak about religious views later on. Sure. So he would message Makes me sense. around 4, 3 a.m. his time, like before Sunday Mass. And he'd be like, <sighs> I'm going to Sunday Mass today. And then he'd be like, let's do HKD before that. So he'd get drunk and HKD. And then he'd come back from Sunday Mass and he'd tell me, oh, I heard the priest. And I, you know, I have a new look in life and stuff like that. So he was really into the religious aspect. What was the new look in life? I feel like it's entirely possible. Oh, dude, I know what happened. I feel like listen, I'm just, I'm just fucking. This is just a, a speculation. If he's constantly going to church and having new outlooks on life, I almost guarantee that what this is what I think happened, and I could be wrong. I think what happened is that she obviously is a simp for him. She was, she wanted to work for him, and then she did free translation. He hired her at like a thousand dollars a month, United States dollars, which is still decent, I think, for just doing basic translating work on a stream sometimes. Um, then the less of that work happened. So he would continue to pay her probably because he felt bad. And they also had, they were now dating basically on the internet. And then he had a new outlook on life and he didn't want to sex her anymore. And then she got bored of the job and she wanted to quit or something. That's, I don't know. I don't know it's better speculation than the ridiculous bullshit narrative that that's being pushed here. This is so stupid. Right. And then he also, if I remember correctly, he used to travel for events too that were related to his church. Hina says, oh according to her, that Pierogi is the one who ultimately eased her into the idea of having a sexual relationship. A married... Eased her. It's a grooming Christian language. man should never lust after another woman, let wow, alone crazy. initiate the sexual relationship. There are wow, you seem like a real big religious purist. Are something... Are you also saying, like, oh, it's crazy? Is that we cool. know about Pierogi, his life, his faith, and those are foundational things in many people's <sighs> lives, and he went against all of them. He had the initial responsibility in... Hopefully he still hates gay people. <laughs> my opinion, not to engage in a relationship like this, but he did anyway. Both of them had the... Okay. Even if she was okay. pursuing him first, he had the responsibility... Sorry. If she was pursuing him first, then how did she... That did he ease her into a sexual relationship? What she's trying to do is she's trying to propose, like, round the narrative out. So right now what we're talking about is him being married and she's not. So there's a higher expectation that he doesn't cheat, which I would generally agree with. But now she's saying, like, even if he, even if she pursued first, he shouldn't be doing this. Yeah, but if he pursued first, that ruins your entire narrative that he was a sexual grooming aggressor. So why would you even bring that idea up? To shut that down, not only as her boss, but as a husband and as a father. So while I was working with him, I ended up becoming extremely isolated. My only point of contact for work was pierogi. Eventually, I was... Uh so get more friends. Yes, part of grooming is intentionally isolating somebody and trying to cut them off from other people. Show us that he ever did that. You becoming good friends with him and, and be isolating yourself is not the same thing. Uh, able to contact the editor, but we didn't really have conversations. If I really wanted to have a conversation about work or anything, it would be with Pierogi. It's okay. Who cares? Oh, I would only be able to talk to Pierogi about work. It's your work. Why does that matter? Is he isolating you from your friends and family? For real life, it was... Uh, I would Because I had to stay awake all night, I slept all morning. I wasn't able to go to many family events. Okay, that's not that's not him isolating you. That's you having a different workflow and it being a struggle. If I worked overnight and it made it hard for me to go out and make friends, that doesn't mean that my job is grooming me. I wasn't really able to plan anything with friends. <clears throat> and you even said at a certain point you were barely doing any work, so this isn't even a real thing. You probably just stayed up all night playing fucking Animal Crossing. Because I just never knew when he would stream or message me. And eventually by the end of it, I was really isolated. I've lost oh a lot God. of friends along the way. A lot of people just couldn't put up with me being drunk and complaining about yeah it sounds like you have an alcohol problem about all of this and wanting to end my life and then just going back consistently you would say no 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 see this is what happened she's because she did it to him too she has some kind of a thing where she constantly uh, talks about how she wants to take her own life whether it's genuine or for attention i don't know what it is and he was and he was the only one that would be there for her that's you problem you're trying to make it seem like it was his fault. You would. This is. It's a funny thing. He's like, oh, he would basically harass me, constantly send me messages. But you were constantly threatening to take your own life. So he's trying to make sure you're okay. All this stuff. It's like it's adding up. It's adding up. She was probably just a shitty person. She's she's sitting there and she's fucking wasting all her money on like alcohol. Like, oh well. So sorry. Be more responsible. Afterwards, after you quit, how has it affected you? I'm still kind of trying to collect myself. Every time I think about it, now <clears throat> that I'm not drunk, I just end up blaming myself. I'm yeah, because it's your fault. You made a bad decision, and now you're trying to ride the Me Too movement and trying to make it seem like 
he's a rapist even though you're a fucking you're you're a responsible child this is the problem now we look back at like bad things that we've done in life and like all of a sudden we have to apply like an abuse narrative to it you're just an irresponsible asshole sorry why did i do that i could have said no why didn't i say no yeah why didn't you i am having a difficult time trying to find a job because i want to apply to scam baiters but it's just not possible i feel like he's like the king of scam baiters so to speak you what you left the job you just said and then you leveraged a false grooming accusation against him why would you why how could you possibly join scam baiters again she already said she reached out before all this like what do you mean she left her job and now she wants it back but she already tarnished the relationship by f pushing false narratives dude this woman is this woman needs a therapist this woman is on this woman is unstable this woman is unstable she needs a therapist that's what it really comes down to. She's unstable. She's constantly threatening suicide. She's like incredibly impulsive. She doesn't know what she wants in her life. She's a problem. She's very. She's dating married men. Like yes, that's a problem. When you're actively seeking married men. You have a fucking problem. Okay, he does too. He should deal with that. But she has an issue. She's mentally unstable. She needs to see a therapist. Speak. Everyone works under him. I don't think anyone would want to hire me. It would piss him off if I could just. Because yeah, because you leveraged a false accusation against him, you fucking idiot. Go back to being friends with him. I would really like that. I know that's not possible. But yeah, because you ruined the relationship. I, I really would like that. I would like my friend back. And you still feel like he's your friend and stuff like that. But like, I mean, ultimately there was so much more to it. It wasn't just a simple friendship. But you. I think I'm right. I think that the relationship got cut off because he decided to stop like cheating on his wife. And like that had to cut the relationship off, and now she's like angry and resentful, and so now she's trying to turn this into a thing. I think that that's what actually happened. Felt like it was. I still feel <laughs> like it is. Yeah, because it's still so fresh. When did you quit? Uh, October, end of September, twenty twenty three. So why'd you quit it? What? So it's only been a few months. Like, wait, wait, wait. If she quit, wait, why did she quit then? Hold on, that my narrative doesn't make sense. If you quit, why did you quit? You dedicated years to this, so what like, I don't that? think anyone should expect you to have everything figured out overnight you know okay. i just want to talk about something okay. that i've been thinking about recently how there are no ways to protect people like me who work from poor countries or other countries for freelance or you know the way i was on salary because a dollar to any other currency conversion is a very good deal for anyone not for nothing a thousand dollars a month in usd for somebody living here for the type of work you're doing which was watching a stream and translating is actually pretty good money still that was your hobby you would do in your free time, and he asked you to pay him. You, you asked him to pay you. Like, it's still good in American dollars. It wouldn't be your only job, but you were... You, oh, her job was to watch his streams and translate, help him translate live. <laughs> your job... Like, you're trying to make it seem like this would be irrelevant in American dollars. Like, if it was an American person. No, that's a good job for an American. Imagine if you consistently watch my streams and I started paying you $1,000 a month to help me to help me on part of my stream. That you were already doing for free. Whatever. And a lot of people will put up, a lot of people like me will put up with it because, you know, <sighs> cool. money means more yeah, than money, anything. Money, Again, money, being money, able money, to feed money. yourself is more important than your self-dignity. There That's might be crazy. other people in this situation working. Hey, daddy, I'm in the hospital. I want to send you my ass. Spink me. For other people. And there's Spink only two options. Me. You either quit your job or um, you do an international S lawsuit, which is completely Spink impossible me. for someone who's literally counting every dollar that they're so getting. Expensive. Well, it's because you're an alcoholic and all you do is waste your money on alcohol. So. And yeah, and quitting your job is an option but then you're back to starving so there needs to be like a third option content creators don't usually have hr departments there's no one you can report to i didn't have anyone i could like yes yeah, so you had to cancel scammer huh? payback say no you're getting hr right now this is what's going on with me and know that i would uh, absolutely ratioed and get fired right so there was no fail safe for this there needs to be one oh, okay. there might be other people who are like this and you know what at the end when you quit you just shut up you don't want to talk about it you don't want to talk about how you sold yourself i think your story is just a, a testament to what people are willing to put up with to fucking survive because they're my story of listening to this is a fucking testament of what people are willing to put up with for money <laughs> it's just so stupid we're no better options for you like I yeah you guys are fucking idiots you're paying me to watch me idiot <laughs> i'm just kidding i love you hope that people understand that because it's just not fair uh, the whole so thing is unfair, unfair. and yeah, i don't I think it's regulatable you know it's not regulatable <sighs> but it should, there should be some way to at least hold a person accountable like if someone fucks your life over they shouldn't just get to oh, yeah. live their life perfectly without yeah when somebody uh it does a mean thing to you you should be able to ruin their life this is what's happening she feels she feels upset so she wants to ruin his life 
This isn't about like anything real. That's all it is. Any consequences. Do you feel like your life was fucked up over all of this? <laughs> Even though, you know, you were more well off financially while you were working for him, you still feel like you came yeah. out of it in oh a worse God. position than when you went in. I came out of it an alcoholic and- Good, that's your fault. Be better with alcohol. Someone who used to smoke joints, like almost half a cigarette, half a pack of cigarettes worth of joints a day. I was consistently stoned and drunk. I have- Stop it. A lot of mental health issues. There you go. She's self. So, so just to be clear, what he did wrong was he hired a mentally unstable person. What did I just say? I fucking told you. What the fuck did I just say? Obviously, she's a mentally unstable person, and when she got too much money, she self-medicated with drugs and alcohol. That's what she did. That's what she decided to do. She decided to self-medicate with drugs and alcohol, and she she developed an addiction to it because she has an addictive personality, probably, and then she's blaming it on him. This is what's happening. Her life is ruined because she's irresponsible. She's somebody that has, when she has too much money, she becomes a bad person. Say, hey, same, am I right? <laughs> okay. You're an irresponsible person. That's why you needed daddy to spank you. If he tries to paint me as someone with mental health issues, then he has the right to because I do have bipolar. I do have ADHD. There you go, baby. ADHD. Hey, shut up. Um, I do have high functioning autism. <laughs> oh, God. He preyed on an autistic person. You know, I was very um little during those time periods. Yeah, that's probably why he would constantly hit you up to be worried about you. And you want to know what the reason why nobody wanted to be your friend is because you're probably very annoying. People with mental health issues can be very, they can be a lot. They can be very, they can be intense. And it's not easy for people to have to deal with them. And unfortunately, what she decided to do was just uh, substance abuse constantly. So her friends and family probably like, we can't do anything. Sometimes you have to hit rock bottom. And he was the only one that was there for you. That's why he would message you a bunch of times. I was in this girl, my friends. And he would come in. No, you weren't. He would message you and you were fucking horny. So you would go talk to him. And he wanted to make sure you were okay. That's why he would spam you. And you want to know what? You probably ignored him on purpose just to make him feel like you weren't you might do something just to emotionally manipulate him i don't care I mean, based on this she's very manipulative that's probably what happened that's that's it this whole thing is stupid she's a baby so again if he brings that topic up i completely agree i was not mentally stable when henna brings up her mental struggles she thinks that people are going to use them against her absolutely thousand percent i will of course like, I have anger problems, and like, part of that's because I have ADHD. So, like, yeah, use that against me. <laughs> like, gay, this <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, oh, when I have, like, a fucking gooning moment, somebody's like, oh, I probably have an anger problem from ADHD, probably. Yeah, I'm an asshole. Sorry, I try to be better. You know, that's all we could do. But she's not trying to be better. She's using it as an excuse. It's not, like, a, it's not an acknowledgement as an excuse for her. I'm trying to use them against me. She's obviously, like, unstable. And people with bipolar are very difficult to be friends with. They get very, like, yes and no. And, like, it's like a light switch. And, like, you're the worst person in the fucking world instantaneously. And then sometimes they come out of it and realize they were wrong. And sometimes they just double down. This is one of the fucking problems. Okay. Think about this. You can probably all, you can probably all identify with this experience. Have you ever had a time when you were like a kid? Let's say you're 30. Let's say, uh, let me do something more relatable for my audience. Let's say you're 25. <laughs> do you remember, do you remember getting into a fight with your friend when you were 15? Right. And think in this scenario, you're not friends with them anymore because of a fight you had when you were 15. Right? I had a fight with a friend because I lent him a PlayStation when I was like 14. And I don't like him anymore. And then I was, and then you think though, it's like, wait, if we had that same fight today, do you think that you would, do you think that you would feel the same way? Probably not. Back then I lent him my PlayStation and I wanted it back. And it turned into like a little stupid thing. Nowadays, you'd probably been like, oh, okay, here's your PlayStation back. Right? The reason I'm saying that is because when you remember memories from when you were a 15 year old, you're listening to a fucking child. That was your interpretation of events as a child. You need to reparse through the information now that you're an adult that's educated and you like know how the world works. And no people don't actively do that, right? That's what's happening here. She goes into some kind of a manic state and then she has a memory from her manic state. And instead of like looking at the situation through her lens when she's finally come back out of that state, She's just believing the way that she felt in that moment was valid, but it wasn't. Right? Does that make sense? So she's sitting here and she's like, he was such a bad guy because I have a fucking buy. I went to a manic state where I wanted to kill myself and he blah, 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 blah. She's filtering everything through that unstable version of herself. And when she gets back into a stabilized version, instead of reparsing through the information and coming to a better conclusion, conclusion, she's just like, no, that's how I felt and it was valid. It wasn't. Okay. If you have some kind of a mental health issue that causes you to go into a manic state, people should be more empathetic to you. But when you come out of that state, you need to put in extra work to reevaluate what happened. 
And it just seems like she's not doing that as if her mental health makes her the more guilty party. And again, in my opinion, I think that this is wrong. Hina obviously- Also crazy, but just give better head. That's probably why he was fucking with her. It is very hard on herself. It breaks my heart. It really oh, it does. I think this reflects worse. Be friends with her for six months and then you'll see what, you'll, and then you'll see. On pierogi, Sorry. it does Hina. Just add it to the list of reasons why I believe that the- A self-medicating like addict with mental health issues is not somebody that's easy to be around or be friends with. Position he put her in yeah, was yeah, inappropriate yeah, 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 yeah. given blah, the circumstances. Blah, 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 if he tries to paint me as someone who's money hungry, the only thing I'm going to say is everyone wants money. No one works to not have money. He's not going to paint you as anything because he's, he's going to ignore it. And that's what he should do. Right. Right. You, you worked your ass off. off. You worked your, you worked your ass off. You were watching your favorite streamer and getting paid for it. What do you talk about? You worked your fucking ass off. What? You know two languages, and all you're doing is listening to a stream, and you're like, hey, he's saying this, he's saying that, blah, 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 blah. For all I know, she was fucking running it through Google Translate. I don't care. <laughs> She's acting like, she, I was working so hard for this guy. You were sexting. A, you, dude, you were living lavish because you were a fucking concubine, okay? You're, he's your mafia boss, and you're his side piece. That's what happened. Uh, he was paying you a thousand bucks with a justifier that you translate, all right? And then you guys were sexing and you were both having a lot of fun and you were the one engaging with it constantly. You, this is all the only ones you showed were you engaging, by the way. So I don't know what else there is. Yeah. Put yourself to him, yeah. I worked very hard. I, I worked, worked so really hard. hard. I guys, I, guys, as a React streamer, I'm working so hard every day. I'm working so hard. If you want to call me money hungry, I'm just working hard. Okay? I'm just Admiral working Abdul so hard. Chatted $1.99. Mom, get the camera. He's goblin gooning. I'm fucking going goon mode, dude. I'm going goblin mode. I don't care. Dude, she's actually, she worked hard. She, she fucking was an alcoholic. She was a, a drug-dependent individual, self-medicating instead of going to the therapist, even though she had the money to do it, or or, or like any mental health professional. Instead of that, that's what it is. She was a glorified fucking nothing. She was a translator that got paid a that got paid a fucking above average salary in her country. <laughs> For a doc she got paid a doctor's salary to be a stream translator when her friend streamed and then when he stopped streaming he she kept getting paid what job was she even quitting i loved translating i loved being able to help people and i loved that this was something i could do that gave me a purpose to stay alive like i however little i did well then how are you still alive people. i was constantly going purpose. in my head you know, going through my head and like what can he paint me as to all the things he said all the things she said so i don't have to do it later all the things she said to be or scattered payback i just want him to be held don't don't send any hate you're accusing him of being a groomer <laughs> Accountable. I don't even want the internet to hate him. I just want him to I be don't. held accountable. Maybe, you know, get some help for his issues. I'm yeah, because you don't need help for your issues. I mean, I'm a prime example of you wanting to be cautious about the people you keep around. I screenshotted stuff. He trusted me. Someone's a psychopath. I screenshotted conversations that were supposed to be private. I think a lot of people in your situation would have done the same thing. I genuinely didn't think I had a screenshot about the boob job because I really wanted to bring that up because he Why? really wanted my body to be the way he wanted it. He wanted. Mm. You showed us one screenshot about how you were in the hospital, and he's like, are you getting a boob job? Nothing else indicated that he didn't like your body. I'm going to assume she wanted a boob job, and so he was just making a joke out of it. I've She's trying to push this now. It's all a new narrative that he was like super manipulative and pushy to be this perfect girl that was never seen anywhere else. Shut the fuck up. I just don't believe that. He wanted me to get like a landing strip, get my like hair, I don't believe hair in a landing strip, and like, Oh, he wanted to get a landing strip. How abusive. Like, the boobs. And he wanted oh, me to boobs. get, like, color my hair purple and stuff like that. Like, like, he really wanted to... Um... He wanted me to shave my groin in a certain fashion and get my hair colored. <laughs> Those are nothing. The boob job is something, I guess. But it's nothing because you haven't shown any other indicator. Make me into some kind of person that... <sighs> and just to clarify, like, you guys have never met in person either, right? This was all over the no. internet. Mm -hmm. This is all over the internet. I just hope this gives the courage to other people to leave their Everybody wants to be abusive jobs. Don't turn it. This is the, this this is what this is a hero complex. This is what happened now. We've gone from acknowledge, we've gone from not listening to victims or, or survivors of situations to listening too much to fucking false people, the fra false prophets. What we have now is an internet pathway to turn yourself into a fucking hero for not being victimized. She got to, for two years, be a glorified whore that watched her favorite streamer, had fun with it, encouraged it, was the one that was the aggressor, we're going to use the word, constantly initiating and engaging with it, and then she gets to walk away from it and say, I'm a hero for surviving that. What the fuck are you talking about?
You're a liar. What are you talking about? Is she going to admit that she, uh, that she wanted him to leave his wife for her? Do you, is that a thing? Those are more screenshots? I wouldn't doubt it. Listen to me. Don't become an alcoholic and drug addict. Don't <laughs> leave. Money will come back. It's okay. Starving is easier. Trust me. Starving is so much better than hating yourself every day and not okay. wanting to live. So I want to end this video by thanking Hina for mustering up the courage and the bravery to not only finally leave a job after two years that gave her financial security <sighs> at the expense of her own personal well-being, but also her well-being okay so for being brave enough to answer all of my questions and you know i didn't hold brave back they were pretty difficult you didn't ask questions you well you asked incredibly leading questions they weren't going to be very difficult to answer you were giving her a yes or no are you a victim or not was every question basically it was just another narrative you didn't let her speak for herself you spoke for her through your questions none of these were difficult at all what are you talking about if she had to think critically about the scenario, then maybe you could have said, oh, you're so brave. But if she actually did, she would have constantly fucked up. But since you heavily edited that, uh, it's very clear to me that there was like a level, a pretty heavy level of dishonesty going on there. Like you were, you heavily edited that for a reason. Full questions for her to answer. Instead of just letting the conversation go on. Obviously. It took a lot for her to do this. She absolutely oh my has my respect and my appreciation. As far too. as Pierogi goes, maybe he'll address this. Maybe he won't. But I hope he just he? makes amends with his family and comes out of this a better person, a better Christian. You said he was a fucking grooming sexual predator. That's what this entire video is about. And you just hope he becomes a better person. What? And if that's what he wants to keep pursuing in his life, definitely a better husband and a better father, a better family. This reminds me of the end of Internet of J videos where he would give like shit advice. <laughs> this is so stupid. Man, a better business owner. I just hope he, I hope he becomes a better coomer. He's better after this. I hope that scammer payback as an entity, as a YouTube channel, as a business does not suffer from this. I hope Pierogi's bad decisions don't cause the business to suffer. I hope the channel can continue doing the good, important and impactful work that it does oh and that God. it continues to be able to help victims of scams. I really do. I'm not just saying that. <laughs> this is one of the things I really struggled with when determining whether or not I wanted to make this video because I don't want to see people who do important work have to end that work because of one guy's bad decisions. I have a personal investment in people taking down scams and helping victims of scams I no you don't that's not the content that you make you like that this guy does a nice thing and you're trying to pretend like you're part of it literally built my youtube channel on that in different ways of course oh really you built your whole channel on, on this on stopping scams but in different ways let's see what way we got here oh matt rife's a bad guy oh top 10 multi-level marketing fails oh look uh, this guy look at this this guy's a cult leader Oh, look, McKamey Manor. I've seen videos about all these topics. You're just another video essayist. Oh, look, another deadly cult. Somebody else did the work for me, and then I made a video. Which, by the way, I react to stuff. I'm not saying I'm not that, but I would never sit here and be like, guys, I'm taking down. I'm, I'm stopping scams by reacting to other work. She just reacts differently to the other work. Uh, look, oh, I'm going to break my silence about Illuminati. Here's my experience. You're a clout writer. I don't like Illuminati. Nobody does. But it's you're a clout writer. Shut the fuck up. Hey, my experience. Uh, one time she said hi to me. Like, okay, cool. Gotcha. Covering multi-level marketing companies and stuff. Because those are definitely scams. Well, he's not covering multi-level marketing companies. Him and his organization stop people from scamming old people. <laughs> I'm assuming they're old people. These, you're not the same. You're not close to any of those things. You don't. You haven't done anything in different ways than call centers. So I do have a personal interest in seeing people who do this kind of work being able to continue doing it. I usually cool. end my videos by thanking financial supporters by name, but this time around, I just feel like given the nature of this video, it isn't the right time or place for that, but you all the know we are. The Unknown Freak super chatted $4.99. First time catching a stream. Can we have a brain rot cleanse after this? Uh, yeah, we could do some Hassan brain rot. But that's not going to be a cleanser, baby. You know that I love and appreciate you for everything you do. But that being said, I have every intention of releasing my extended interview with Hina to Patreon sure. and for members oh. only here on this YouTube channel. So You mean the stupid people who wouldn't be able to find the lies in it? So if you are one of those people who are financially supporting me, you will be able to what? watch the extended cut. Just know that all I'm not going to watch it. It's We don't need to watch it. We have already know that they're lying. So. All the really important stuff is here in this video. There's not any like new bombs being dropped, for lack of a better term. Like an end bomb um, in the extended interview i just want to be able to give something back here to those who support me so but even if you're not one of those people thanks just for making it to the end of this video for hearing hina out for hearing myself out and
and I welcome the inevitable conversation that's going to be had around this situation. I recognize that there are going to be a lot of differing opinions on this. My only request is that we all just be chill with each other, be nice to each other. Why? You put a false grooming accusation against a guy. Why would anybody respect you or be nice to you? In the comments while discussing this, I believe that this can turn into a productive conversation. No, it can't. There's nothing productive to happen. And we can do that without being nasty to each other. You're a nasty person that tried to cancel somebody for a, a, an exposed video. When we find other people who might think differently than we do. And that includes Perogi <laughs> because, again, we don't know his side as of right now. He might be able to explain away some of his behavior. She already explained it away. So until he does, let's just not jump to any conclusions there. Hey guys, I called this guy uh, basically uh, a rapist that is groomed her. You use That's the word you guys used in the beginning. But he maybe he's not a bad guy. No, if you groom somebody, you're a bad person. It's not really a debatable topic. <laughs> um, okay. Yeah, cool. It's nice that you're really nice to groomers, I guess. I don't get it. I don't understand that. But feel free to have an open, honest, and respectful conversation with each other regarding the situation. Anyway, that's all for now. If anything else comes of any of this, I will keep you updated. Thanks for watching. Thank you, Hannah. Thank you, viewer. Bye. Wow. Don't jump to conclusions, guys. By the way, I'm in the Olympics for jumping. That was a fucking abysmal, horrible dog shit video full of false narratives and lies. It wasn't worth the time to make. It wasn't worth the time to watch. Um, it was terrible. She should be ashamed of herself. There was nothing of productive value there other than any time a woman interacts with a man, even if they both want to do it sexually, that the woman still is not able to properly consent um, so again, we're going to have to go back to dads giving away their daughters because apparently by this video's logic, women can't make consensual decisions. That's all this is. That's all this video says is that women who like ha having sex, they like to engage sexually. They consistently engage sexually. They're being the sexual initiator, which is what she was doing. Uh, despite that, um, they still can't consent because they were victimized. So she, she we, when men are going to have to give their daughters away again. That's it. There was even that moment where she, she, where they were sexting and he was finished and she, and she was like, I wanted it to stop so bad. He finished. And she's like, no, 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 you can't leave. You have to help me finish.